Hey guys, you know how much I love Indian food? Well, in 2021, I decided to do a non-stop Indian food tour of the United States. And in the trips I did last year, I went five days to New Hampshire and Massachusetts, and I linked up with a chef. His name is Chef Keith Saracen, American chef from New Hampshire that focuses only on Indian food. This is him, my boy. Spent five days with him. This is 100 Hours with Chef Keith Saracen in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Hope you guys enjoy it. This was an epic one. We ate nonstop. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Salem, New Hampshire, with my boy, Chef Keith Sarasin. How's it going? I'm so excited to be here. Are you hungry yet? I'm starving. We just picked David up from the airport, and we're just going to go crush some food. Where are we today? So we're in Salem, New Hampshire. It's about an hour, roughly an hour drive, right, from Boston Airport? Yeah, it's about, like, a little under an hour, so easy to get to right off 93. Super simple. Awesome, and we are here at Kashmir Indian Restaurant. This place has been here for 15 years running, and the owner, Jeet, is gonna prepare for us an incredible array of food, a lot of North dishes, right? So he's from Punjab, this is Kashmir food. Mm. Oh, I can't wait, man. I'm excited, I'm excited. Just got off the plane, we're eating Indian food in New Hampshire. Let's go inside. My man. How you doing? Good, how are you? Very good. What are we doing today? We're tasting Indian food. We're at Kashmir. <laughs> Perfect. So this is Kashmir Indian restaurant. As you can see inside, as soon as you walk in, this feels like a northeastern bar. But when you go to the back, it's real Indian. Indian. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. We're going to be together for the next four days here in New Hampshire and in Boston. And what do we got? Oh man, I'm excited. I'm hungry, first of all. I'm starving. Clearly, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first off, we got an alu samosa chat, uh, which alu is. Uh, so, alu is potato. You see, he knows so much. Um, we also got uh, basic alu chat over here. Uh, sorry, this is a chapa chat uh, that we got over here. And then we got the alu chat over here. Um, chats, super exciting because Delhi, you think of chats, right? You mm -hmm. think of that northern kind of Punjabi influence. Exactly. It's going to be so good. Tamar what else we got in here that you know flavor hey, So yogurt, for yes. sure. I see yogurt, tamarind. Uh, so we have some cilantro on top. Yeah. Always, right? But also, it, so I didn't know there's a big difference here, but it's completely different, right? Right. So this one has chickpeas, this one does not. Exactly. And then right here we have a tamarind chutney. And this, I guess, is like a tomato chutney with onions? Yeah, exactly. So. And that's going to give it that nice acidity that we always want to balance. That's why we have yogurt and all those fun flavors. Because at the end of the day, Indian food is all about that. that finding that sweet, sour, spicy beautifulness to it. Exactly. And if you guys don't no, this is an American chef that focuses on Indian food. He has an Indian pop-up called Atma. Atma, yeah, which is Hindi for soul. It means like the truest expression of oneself. Amazing. And soon you're going to have a restaurant. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, we're going to be serving modern plating techniques with really authentic Indian flavors. It's what I love. It's my passion. Just like this guy right here. Ready to go, dude. Let's eat. Let's eat. By the way, guys, my first time in New Hampshire. Uh, state number like 20 something. I don't even remember. Okay, here we go. How do we do this? We always do this with our hands. Okay, okay. You, you know how it is. I know, I know. Sometimes no. <laughs> People are getting a little crazy with me, you know, they're like spoon for the chat, but you know what? You know, in India, you're gonna eat like this. Right, and they wash their hands all the time. Exactly. All the time. So, hands clean. Boom. Boom. Let's do this thing. So, this one, right? Because you have yeah. some most in there. Look at this. Monster. Look at this. Do this. Oh my gosh. Cheers, Cheers brother. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Also, the first bite of food that you eat in the day, it's hard to beat that one, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Especially this one, because you get everything in here. Right. Mm. That sourness with the, with the tamarind mm -hmm. cuts through that fattiness. Because, like, in the chef world, you always balance everything fatty and fried mm -hmm. with something acidic okay. and sour. So there's this word in Hindi called chapata, which means like to balance sour, sweet, and spicy. It's like this beautiful marriage. So all dishes should be chapata. Chapata. Isn't that a cool word? It's a cool word. I've never heard of that before. Chapata. Chapata. So, also, really hot. Just got off the plate. It's extremely hot. Oh, I love the chickpeas mixed with the aloo. You have a little bit of crunch with the onions as well. Dude, amazing. Mm -hmm. If you want. Make it a little sweeter, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little sweeter. This one. That's the bite right there. If you're watching this, that was the bite. Mm -hmm. You can see. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
You know I fasted today. It is what? <laughs> Almost 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. What a long morning. It's gonna be a long day. Mm-hmm. Real long day. How long? <laughs> Real long. <laughs> Welcome to New England. Yeah, right. Oh, and this one's cold. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Should we use our hands? Yeah, same thing. This one's gonna be nice because of that cooling effect. Mm-hmm. A lot of dahi, which is yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt, of course. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love that one. Chats are beautiful because, like, the word translates to lick. Lick. Yeah, like it's like finger licking, right? So it's like it's almost like to lick, which is cool about chat. It's amazing. Mm. So there's this, there's a thing on this one that makes it so different. That sourness mm-hmm. doesn't come from the tamarind, it comes from amchor, okay. which is uh, which is mango, green mango. Oh wow! In uh, chat masala, and that's what it is, right? Yeah. I was like, what is this? A little different. Is that cool? Yeah, it's a green mango. Yeah, green mango. Amazing. Well, I'm gonna limit myself. We still have a lot of dishes coming. So much. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's see what they're cooking up for us. Hello, hello. Hello. Well, I didn't know anything about cooking until my dad taught me. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know anything about cooking. He's gonna teach me now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we got here? What are you making for all these dishes? I'm making you basil coconut chicken shrimp and uh, the cabri the chole dish, the okra, and uh, chicken tikka masala. This is the masala sauce, the tikka masala sauce, and that's the curry sauce. So tandoors are actually Afghanistan. So you look at Afghanistan and you look at the Afghans and what they would do is they would make these huge pits, just kill an animal with a sword, put it right in. That's actually a cool fact of it. So that pad that they use in the stick, the, the, the naan to the tandoor, it's called the gadi pad. I did not know that, I thought it was a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Mango and butter, yeah. Mango and butter is really good. Yeah. Oh, basil, coconut, shrimp. My man, how you doing? He's the main chef. Awesome. I'm excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> this guy's cooking up a storm. Look at this. Best dressed chef in history. <laughs> Thank you, thank, thank, you, so you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, chef, thank you. All right, let's go, let's go, let's do let's this. Go. Thing. So much food, too many dishes. This is amazing. What a feast we have. Yeah. Okay, so tell me everything we got. All right. So cashmere naan. We'll do breads first. Cashmere naan. Beautiful, beautiful classic garlic naan. Mm-hmm. Um, bang and barta. We have a mixed tandoori grill. We've got bindi masala. Bindi is the Hindi word for uh, okra. Yeah. Killing it, brother. Right. Okay, okay, Absolutely. Right. Chole, we've got a beautiful basil coconut shrimp. That's mm-hmm. not something I see on a lot of menus. Yeah, because this is like more Kerala style, right? Yeah, like, I, well, I think of coconut, I think of Kerala. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be delicious, I'm excited. Obviously the classic, CTM, you have chicken to. tikka masala. Yes, uh, we have this beautiful biryani here. Look at that. Wow. And that's a North style biryani, it's Punjabi style biryani. Yeah, it's a little cool. different. A lot different. It's yeah, gonna be delicious. Yeah, so the interesting cool thing about this fun little fact when you're eating biryani, and you can impress people on dates when you do this too, um, it's actually kind of, it's an Iranian dish, a Middle Eastern dish called Palau. Palau is kind of like the bigger, older mm-hmm. brother of this. It's exactly. a dumbed down version of it. The Mughal came, the Mughal Empire came in and started adding all these beautiful things, spices. Now you have like Lucknow biryani, you have Hyderabadi biryani, you have Kolkata biryani, all very different, all super delicious. No biryani, just a like. So I'm gonna serve you this beautiful chicken tikka masala, which is the national dish of Britain. Anyone who's watching this just got real hungry. So we got bindi masala next. Bindi is so good, it's this beautiful fried okra. And if you don't like okra, this will change your mind right here. Go order bindi masala. Next we've got chole. There's so many forms of it too. There's black chickpeas, which are called kalachana, which have a ton of fiber in them as well. Beautiful dish, so many beautiful spices, cinnamon, cardamom. Lychee, which is cardamom. Beautiful stuff. So, bang and barta. This is eggplant. And if you don't like eggplant, this dish will change your mind. It's absolutely delicious. A Punjabi specialty, I think. You guys already know my favorite vegetable of all time eggplant. So, this is beautiful shrimp, basil, and coconut curry. 
normally think of Punjabi. You think of like the Konkan coast, and you think of Goa, you think of Kerala. But this, if you could smell this right now, come on, man. Gotta start with some naan. Gotta right? start with some naan. And this is my favorite naan of all time. It's a little sweet. As soon as you open it, you can see everything they put inside. So usually they have like raisins, nuts, you know, a big mix, but sweet is the yes, key. Yes, exactly. And it's nice because it balances some of the heavier flavors. And it's not all spicy, right? No, That's a misconception. All. Yeah. Like Indian food isn't all spicy. There's a word for spicy. That's masala dar. Okay. And then garam means warm. So there's a lot of warming spices in this. That sweetness helps it. I'm going to go naan too. All right, perfect. I think, uh, you know, I think the thing that is really exciting here is let's try the shrimp first. Let's try the shrimp. So first thing we're starting with is this incredible coconut. Cheers. And this Cheers. is a thick naan. It's really thick. Very thick. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, the flavors. The coconut. Mm. The sweetness of the naan. That's why it's the best food in the world right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like... Wow, this is why I love Kerala. Yeah. That coconut, you would never get it anywhere else. So tasty. Every bite just keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bang and barta. <laughs> Bang and barta. <laughs> right here. This eggplant, and it's so good. It's such a good dish. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's creamy. It's light. It's like smoky a little bit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which a little like bit heat. heat. Yeah, a little bit of heat, but like nothing bad at all. I'm not sitting here. My mouth doesn't feel like it's on fire. No, at all. Not even close. And if you feel like your mouth is on fire, we got some rice over there. Just have a little sip of that, and you're good. Exactly. This is amazing. Mmm. That's a real good bang of barta. Mm -hmm. And what's making all this is this Kashmiri naan, man. Mm -hmm. Kashmiri naan is crazy good. Man, the breads of Kashmir are mind blowing. Like, I just want to see so many videos on that. They're so crazy. They're so good. I'm dying of Kashmir. You guys, let me know. Should I go to Kashmir? Yeah. Thinking about it. You should. I'm thinking about it, yeah, I know. I'd watch that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so for this one, we need this puri, right? It's Absolutely. like a little pillow. It's still like inflated, huh? Ooh. It deflate pretty quick. Really good. This is such an incredible bread. Mm -hmm. Like this is like classic. Chole Baturi is like comfort food mm -hmm. for so many people across the Indian subcontinent. Yeah. That you have this for breakfast. It's a different world, right? So you have tiny puris, big puris like this. You have yeah. even bigger ones than this, right? Yep. You have alu puri. You have like crazy. People think like all Indian food is naan. So many breads. You have like Romali roti, which means handkerchief. Exactly. It's so cool. Yeah, and that, that one's almost like the lavash. Like yeah. the, the Armenian. Bread, exactly. Right? And that obviously comes from the Persian Empire. Yep. All of it. You know. All food history, man. History. We're just, we're just teasing you so you get history lessons. That's what this channel exactly. really is. Exactly, for sure. So we're gonna <laughs> jump in here. Let's jump in. Oh, just like that. Dude, this oh. this takes me straight back to Delhi. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Mmm. I love it. It's like flaky. Mmm. A little oily. Mm. It's not just delicious. It's something that you're gonna eat and you're gonna go, I need more of that. Mm-hmm. Oh man. I had this in Delhi once. Mm. I remember at the very end, the guy literally just drizzled ghee throughout the whole time. So good. Mm. Oh. Wow. And like chole recipes differ, like there's so many, like they're so diverse, right? Mm -hmm. There'll be like chole recipes that you'll get at one place, then you have another one completely different. Mm -hmm. The heat, always that green chili, right? That green chili, that I feel green, it. It, it. It's the best, it gives you that like mm. beautiful heat. This wow. is to die for. To die for. Yeah, a little more. Wow. We would have to eat this one with this bread. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Because it's flaky, it mm -hmm. like holds it up enough. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man. Guess like that you, spunk, you know? You got, you got the dance going. <laughs> Let's try some mango. Oh, oh, yeah. Dude, yes, but we needed this. Did you need this? I feel like he's coming. Yeah. 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 All right, so the mango lassi is staple. <laughs> Cheers, brother. <laughs> Cheers. Mango's the best fruit in the world, right? The best fruit in the world. Like, I love it. I, the, your videos of you eating mangoes in India? Oh, yeah. If you haven't watched those, go back, watch them. For sure. They're amazing. You know, in my house, my parents' house, we have mangoes. Dude, get a Miami, like, mango, mango, mango. I gain, like, easy, like, 10 pounds every summer. Because I'm just eating every mango. It sounds know? like you need a chef to come over to cook. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Mm. Cheers again, bro. Cheers. Mmm. And it's nice and thick. It's not so liquidy. Right. A lot of people get this for the first time. They're like, what do I expect? A little bit of sour, sweetness, 
it's almost like a like a milkshake and, and without being as thick, mm-hmm. you know, because it's got that beautiful texture. But it takes the spice level. If your if your mouth's on fire, cools it right down. Completely. Like now, I feel great. Yeah. Before I was feeling it, you know, you're starting to mix all these spices, so you start to feel everything, right? Right. Right. Okay, so I think we still have two more things to try here. We have the yep. okra and the chicken tikka masala, which is yeah. the national dish of Great Britain. Killing it. Yeah. Look at, Where's David Beckham at? Rita Ora. Who else? There's a lot of really good. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a lot of really good British comedians too. Okay, we should question. There's a guy named Matt Berry, hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, so many amazing people come out of Great Britain. Really? I love that country. Yeah, I do too. I'm actually uh, one of my 15% Great Britain. Yeah, you practically own it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, dude. I'm going. All right. So which ones? We, well, do we use hands or? Yeah. We use hands. <laughs> Maybe we should go with some garlic. Now. Yeah, let's go okay. garlic now. Bro, this music is bomb. Boom, boom. Mm-mm. Mm. Creamy, delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thing is that people say like, mm, it's always the same. No, it's always a little different. Mm-hmm. But it's like the staple dish. This and butter chicken are the two that you're gonna try no matter what when you start eating Indian food, right? Absolutely. And I get it too. Like it's absolutely delicious. It's just, it's like the perfect beginner level when Indian food might be scary for people. Mm-hmm. That's the dish you start with, and you're gonna realize spices make everything so much better. Man, lights out at that point. So yes. okra, let's just go hands on this one. Oh, right. We're already here. And uh, bindi masala. I can't tell you enough how good this dish is. This reminds me of my mentor Indra. She would make bindi masala. Oh, yeah? Even though she was Gujarati, she would make this dish once in a while for like talis and things like that. Mm-hmm. And it always reminds me of her. It's just wow. a great moment. There's actually one I, you don't really see on menus so often. So. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, Boom. Mm. Mm. Yes. But if you don't like okra, this will change your mind, right? Every time. Mm hmm. Mm. So good. A little crunchy. Mm hmm. Moist. Mmm. A few different masals in here, right? Yeah, so different. You have a lot of coriander. Um, some dishes will use cumin on it. I like to back up on the cumin in this, but the mm-hmm. roasting of the coriander is a really important part of this one. The coriander's nice, right? Yeah, yeah. It almost gives this fruity, like, like mm-hmm. kind of sweet, kind of fruity flavor to it, which is beautiful. Oh, and you feel like a little ting, right? Mm-hmm. A little heat. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's awesome. A lot of nice fried onion in there. Yeah, exactly. You getting that one? That's, that's the key, right? Fried onion. It's fried like that onion. with biryani, too. I feel like you need that in everything. everything. <laughs> fried onion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Feeling it yet? Yeah, I feel <laughs> it. So we still have, uh, you know, we have the tandoor and we have the biryani. So let's jump on the tandoor. Yes. You know, this is something that everybody has to try. There's nothing like having meat from the tandoor. No. Nothing like it. <sighs> Your choice, man. You're the guest. You know, guest I love have. the lamb chop. Yes. Right? So that's the lamb chop, and then what else we got here? We have shrimp, we have chicken. Yup, two styles of chicken. This mm-hmm. looks like a malai chicken or chicken tikka. Okay. Um, malai is the word for cream. And this looks like kind of your standard, almost like um, chicken tandoori. All right, bro. You got the shrimp. Cheers. the lamb. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope this is a good one. So it's smoky. I love the charredness, bro. Yes. Mm. It's like, one of the things that I love about this is in the West, you have that barbecue, right? Everyone mm-hmm. knows that like backyard barbecue feel. It has that, but just all the spices, mm-hmm. right? Oh man, it's just turned up to 11. It's so good. Wow. That was so mm-hmm. easy. Ripped it apart. You need the shrimp. The shrimp? Mm. And I'll grab the lamb. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So like, imagine you bite into meat and just like falls. I don't know how else to say it, you know? It's just, it's perfect. It's, perfect. it's like no other way. It's just perfect. It's perfect. That's it. It's perfect. Get this every time. <laughs> Tandoor. Yeah. The mixed grill, basically. Mm-hmm. And lastly, we have the ultimate dish, the king of dishes. Literally, the king of dishes. The king of dishes, the biryani. People say biryani, biryani, bari bari biryani. Everyone says biryani. Yeah, you know, biryani is a dish that literally is royalty. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a dish that means so much. It's a dish that's hard. So, like, the thing that I love about biryani is every grain of rice needs to be perfect. That's how I was taught. Every grain has to be perfect. One is wrong, you're disrespecting the dish. (sighs) Always. Biryani is the best with your hands, too. You have to. Got to. So you go in and you break the chicken, right? Yup. So you break like that. 
this is the way I like doing it. You know, people have been telling me not every Indian eats like this, but if you're eating in the South specifically, mm -hmm. the rice, you gotta eat like this. Mm -hmm. If you're in the North, you're gonna eat the, everything with the bread, right? So Absolutely. The cool thing I like about it too is what was taught to me is like silverware, like it has a taste, right? So this is the purest form of eating the food to tasting it, just like the banana leaves in Kerala as well. Exactly. Right? And somebody told me today, I just read a comment. That the five fingers, the five elements. Is the five elements? Yeah, very and, good. And then that that gives it more flavor. Yep. And then you know, obviously, this all has to do with like gratitude and a mix right. of things, right? Absolutely. Okay, so perfect, man. Perfect. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa, this is different type of biryani, huh? Mmm. Like a Punjab biryani. So what's different here? I already see it's like these big onions. You got bell pepper mm -hmm. in here as well, right? Mm, but the taste, the, the spices, yeah, the chicken. There's, there's this beautiful thing about biryani that it's so fragrant. It's mm -hmm. floral, right? Mm -hmm. Rose water, something called kirra. Kirra is like this. It's actually the screw pine, mm -hmm. and it's this beautiful essence that's imparted into it that just makes it so fragrant and good. And you're gonna see that when I cook for you. Mm -hmm. so it'll be good. I mean, the fragrance automatically you feel like flowers, right? It's almost like a forest in here, you know. Mm -hmm. So good, not too spicy, nice kick oh. though. King of dishes, yeah. He, he was like, Oh, I made it medium for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, come on, man. Right? <laughs> if you want to get crazy, you can go in here and grab some incredible curry. Oh, this is some next level stuff, right? Here. Did you want? Let's, you know, so I'm not gonna leave a lone soldier down here. <laughs> you know, what I love about doing this. He glues the rice like that. Mm. You know, you have a plate full of different curries, and you just start mixing it all together like that. He's got a big ball. Some people go like that, you know, like the whole ham. Yeah. I like that. This again, these three fingers. Mmm. That mm -hmm. sweetness helped dial back some of that spice that you're getting there. Exactly. That little mouth tingle. Wow. And you can also add the, add the raita. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you know, it's weird because in Kerala, only person I've ever seen this done, where they literally, before you eat, they throw right on top of the biryani and you mix it. Yep. And you make it, you know, creamy, but everywhere else in India, they don't do that. So there's, in Hyderabad, if you have a Hyderabadi biryani, you'll have something called Merchika Salam. And Merchika Salam is always with it too. So you'll have it because I'll, I'll make it for you. Okay. And you'll see, like, it's this nutty, like, beautiful paste that you put on it and it's just <sighs> takes biryani, next level. Perfect time for this. I feel the heat, right? Mm-hmm. And that's it, it's gone. It's not this like hot and arrow. That, right. that stuff's crazy. Yeah. Right, that's the only thing I don't love about certain things in Mexico. You get the heat and then you gotta stop. Right. You know, like, oh my god. Oh man. We're good? Perfect. Thank so you. good. Love is biryani. Thank you. Oh. oh no, you like the biryani? Oh, I love the biryani. Oh, oh nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. No Indian feast is complete without sweets. <laughs> and here we have two staples. So we have Ras Malai, which is basically paneer and cream. And this is Gulab Jamun, which is like the ultimate Indian sweet. You find it everywhere, every restaurant. And what is that? Gulab Jamun. Uh, so basically this is, uh, the word Jamun is uh, actually after the fruit. Uh, and so this is koya or mawa, which is kind of like milk that is uh, condensed and then dried out. And then you shape it in this dumpling. You traditionally fry it in desi ghee. And then you put this beautiful cardamom and sugar syrup infusion in it. And it is absolutely one of the greatest things on the planet. And it's literally like drowning in it. Drowning. And it's just like, if, if you've never had this before, it's kind of like a munchkin donut. Exactly. Like in sugar syrup. <laughs> uh, and it's really craveable. And it should be served hot. <laughs> Cheers, brother, to a really Cheers. great, great week. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. None <laughs> like it, bro. It's so good. It's so good. It's so sweet. Mm, you just go this. And there's really nothing like it. That's the thing. Like, wow. what do you even compare it to? Don't know, man. It's I, like, I, like you were saying the donut? Yeah. Something like that, but the inside obviously absorbed all sugar syrup. Yeah. The cardamom. The cardamom. See how it's like beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like the words alaichi for mm -hmm. cardamom. So the alaichi is like nice and like it's like fragrant, just subtle. Okay, so here we go. The ras malai, the sweet temptation from the gods. And I learned this is this is your favorite dish. Favorite. Your favorite sweet. My favorite sweet. Yes. Hell yeah. So basically, it's uh, paneer, but paneer is really the same thing as 
It's actually the same as ricotta. If you think about it, the way that you make paneer, take milk, add either citric acid or lime juice, it curdles, you press it. That's what ricotta is. You learn something new every day, right? Mm-hmm. 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 I love it. And the shape. So, that flavor, that like floral flavor, mm-hmm. it's the most expensive spice in the world. Do you know what it is? No. Saffron. Yeah, most expensive spice in the world. I yep. didn't know that. So, saffron, to get little three of those threads, mm-hmm. it's one plant. One plant only grows three of those threads. That's crazy. Isn't that cool? That's why it's the most expensive in the world, and it has a very, very distinct flavor. So either I put this one and this one or this one and this one. Right to left. <laughs> left to right. That's <laughs> right. Boom. Like a bomb. Look at this. What a mix, huh? It's like robbery. It's like robbery. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I will finish it. <laughs> okay, my friends, I just got off the plane and I drove up from Boston to New Hampshire and I'm here in Salem, New Hampshire at Kashmir Indian Restaurant. If you ever find yourself in Boston, definitely drive up. It's like really like a 30 minute drive, yeah. really quick, right? Yeah, absolutely. And how good was this food today? Oh, this food was amazing. So good, it's delicious. The family comes from Punjab, so they got here like in the 2000s and this has been here for 15 years. Crazy, and we wish them at least 15 years more. Yeah, at least. And you know what? My favorite was the coconut shrimp. Ooh, with the basil. Mm -hmm. That was so good. Really unique. Never seen it on a menu before, so I'm excited. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Manchester, New Hampshire, New England, with my boy, Chef Keith Sarsin. Are you ready for today? I'm ready. I'm so excited. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire. It is the largest city in Man- in uh, all of New Hampshire, right near the capital, which is Concord. Huge brewery scene, which we might have to, you know, do a brewery or two today. Um, we're gonna have a blast. Yeah, so today we're gonna be eating Indian food for 24 hours in Manchester, New Hampshire. We're gonna hit up two spots, and then at the end of the day, we're gonna go to his house, and he's gonna make for us some biryani. Biryani, Ooh. look right here. Eli Nan Dosa Biryani Samosa. And I got right here, Atma. That's his pop-up Indian restaurant. Soon he'll be opening up somewhere between here and Boston, right? Absolutely. Can't wait. Uh, Check us out, atmarestaurant.com. We're going to have a blast today. I can't wait to cook for you, brother. Ready to do this thing? I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's go eat. And first place we're going to is like literally across the street. It's called Taj Indian Restaurant. And what is this street? So this is Elm Street. Elm Street is a huge, vibrant community of amazing restaurateurs. We got awesome chefs on the street. People like Birch right across the street. We got Ben and Jerry's over here. I know, you you gotta have some ice cream even when it's cold because it's a little chilly today. Um, We're gonna have a blast, but more than anything, enjoy the food scene. Manchester's got it going on. Yeah, so this is the downtown area. Right here we have a lot of old buildings. Everything's over 100 years old, roughly, right? Then we have Taj Indian cuisine right there. You have, you know, some of the bigger brands over here to the right, to the left. And then we have the main river that passes through the city right over there. And what is that called? Yeah, so we got the Amiskeg River, and then that feeds so much. There's this cool bridge out there. We'll give you some cool shots of that stuff. It's going to be a blast today. This is a fun city, especially if you like beer, and especially if you like really good food. Today's all about Indian food, but we have to throw some beer in there because if you guys don't know, New Hampshire is famous for their craft beer scene. Over roughly 100 breweries in the state. That's insane. It's amazing. But you know what? We're starting off with some Indian food because we both love it. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. All Indian restaurants usually open up between 11.30 and 2 p.m. and then close and then open again at 5 to like 10 p.m. Yep. That's sort of how it is. Unless it's South Indian food, then it's always open for breakfast. Always. Oh, gotta get it. What's up, bro? What's up, morning? How you doing? Good, good, good. And we're starting off our morning with some incredible chai. It's chai time all the time. Mmm. Mmm. Love the cardamom, man. Oh, so good. That's a nice start today. Yeah, nice and frothy. Piping hot, just like they have in India, right? Every time. Mmm. Oh, so good. Don't burn your tongue. I'm not burning my tongue. So we're getting the lunch special tally basically mm-hmm. a lot of different things in it yeah. then we're also getting a lamb samosa mm. we're getting two like curry dishes and that's pretty good because this is the first place first of many so yeah i have to go. leave a lot of room because we're also going to drink some beer today <laughs> <laughs> we've got this we've got this we got it we got it oh this is great hey cheers again cheers, thank you so much bro anytime 
All right, David, let's go to the kitchen. Let's show how we make the naan. So we're gonna see how they make some naan and we're gonna see him prepare the tali, right? Yeah. If you guys didn't see, they have a bar here. So if you want alcohol, wine, beer, you know, rum, they got it. Hello, hello. How you guys doing? Hello. <laughs> There's so much stuff happening here right now. Chef's killing it. We've got this beautiful chana, chickpeas. There's so many varieties of chana. Kala chana, black chana. We have the standard chana right now. Beautiful chole that he's doing. We've got fish tikka masala. We've got so much and the smells. You guys can't, but oh my God, the smells are insane right now. Can't wait to eat this. Perfect, so we've got a few different curries happening here. Over here to the left, he just made the samosas. So we have the lamb samosas, right? And then what is this? I mean, these are like, like alu vegetable tiki. fritters? Yeah, alu tiki. Oh, that's alu tiki, yeah, but the way you're doing it, so they, they're shaping it, right? Into yeah. like little patties. Yeah. Beautiful, I've never seen it like this before. So good, smells so good in here. The chef here is going ham. I mean, he's making so many different curries. This smells so good. The vegetable curry, you got the fish one as well. This is obviously the, the, chicken, tikka masala. the chicken tikka masala, the sauce, and you have a little bit of chicken in there. And he's using that gravy to mix with a few of the other ones, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah the malai kofta. It smells so good. Oh, my favorite malai kofta. Yeah. Those dumplings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. epic. So we have something very special right here. This is chicken naan, the like yeah. stuffed naan, yes. right? Chicken naan, chicken naan. Incredible. So yes. he very good, it. very good, yes. So he stuffed it with chicken, chicken like shredded yeah. chicken, right? Yes. And he threw it into the tandoor for like literally one minute. Very good, very and that's good. That's it. Very good. I love this guy. <laughs> Great job, man. Great job. I love it, love it. This is so good. I'm yep. about to eat it straight off the pan. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I burn everything inside. <laughs> Rocking it with Chef over here. He's doing an amazing job. It's just great to learn from somebody like this. So he's gonna plate everything on a tally and we're gonna go eat. David, let's go eat. Let's do this thing. Oh, guys, I am excited. This is a lot of food. So good. The staff's amazing. Guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it all. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Ooh. All right, my friends. This is it. This is it. Wow. Man, this is this is part one here? Yeah, and like, part one. Oh, man. So much. So what do we got? We right. have our tally. Yep. So we got rice. We have chana. So we have chickpeas. We have like a vegetable curry. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have like pakora, right? Yep. And then over here, this is chicken tikka masala. Yeah, so we got chicken tikka masala. The, the other name for this is actually sabji. So sabji kind of translates to vegetable. Exactly, sabji. Then we have two different naans. We have garlic naan. Mm -hmm. We have stuffed naan with chicken. Amazing. We have incredible samosa. This one has lamb, right? Yeah, kima. Kima. And then we have three curries. So <laughs> what do we have? I think it's fish tikka. Yes, masala. fish tikka masala. Perfect. And what's the other ones? Uh, it looks like we got a beautiful korma over here. Mm -hmm. And then... Malai kofta. We, yes, malai kofta. You know what? Let's try this one first. Oh, that's a great... Man, it's like you've done this before. <laughs> So my bad, this is not lamb samosa, this is actually potato samosa or aloo samosa, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're gonna bring it up? Oh, wow, look at oh, that. Oh, man. Beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous. There's beautiful little specks of all these spices in there. Mm, this is gonna be so good. I always dip in tamarind too. Yeah. Tamarind my favorite, bro. I'm the same. Tamarind's so good. Sweet, you got a good right? Palate. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Tamarind all day. My second favorite is the coconut one, right? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. Dough is perfect, right? Perfect. Mmm. Yeah, so it's like super soft, a little crunch mm. in the outside. Yeah, crispy as well. Mushy. I wouldn't say like too mushy. No. But it's like, it's the perfect level of like spices are in there. Mm -hmm. Not spicy. The spices are perfect in it. Spices. This Man, is what it is about, right? I don't know anyone who doesn't love a samosa. <sighs> I don't know. It's crazy. And usually like you get this at the bus stations, you know, quick, mm -hmm. quick on the go. Have two of these a day, easy in India. Ah, oh, perfect. With chai, mm -hmm. perfect couple right there. Chai right here. Mm. Wow. Mm. All right, I'm definitely gonna limit this because mm -hmm. if not, I'm gonna eat the whole thing, right? Let's go vegetable first. Vegetable? So for this, we're not using hands, we're using utensils. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. When you eat vegetables like this, yeah. You can easily be a vegetarian, right? I was just gonna say the same thing. Mm. So easy to be vegetarian when you have something this good. Mm. Nice and light, so many vegetables in here. I don't know about you, but I didn't get vegetables like this growing up. <laughs> Did you? I wish. <laughs> I canned vegetables. Mm. Exactly. You can see a huge piece of clove in yours. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Huge piece, nice cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I love this, very easy, light. You know, it's part of the tally, right? Experience all the flavors, mm -hmm. right? It's absolutely perfect. I think next we gotta go chickpeas, right? I think that's what I was gonna say. It's right next to it. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 It's 
one's a little sweeter, right? Yeah, this is nice. Like, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of wonderful spice in it. Mm -hmm. It's got kind of like that earthy, kind of like, almost like garam masala, like exactly. kind of spice flavor to it. But not spicy at all. Not spicy at all. At all. Again, like, that's that misconception. This is, anyone could eat this and be like, there's no spice in this one. Yeah. And so basically this, instead of having the lunch buffet, they have this. Yeah. That's the alternative. It's great. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you gotta try this, right? The pakora? Yeah. So this is a veg pakora. So basically a vegetable fritter. Mm -hmm. All right, so the beautiful thing about pakoras are they are made with bison, which is chickpea flour, and uh, really great protein content, really great fiber content to it, and they're absolutely so addicting. Such a great fritter. Gotta dip it in the tamarind sauce, but he knows already what's up. He's a pro. It's not your first Indian experience. This is your eight million? <laughs> Dude, I've eaten more Indian food than any other food in my life. I, you've eaten more Indian food than me, I bet. More, more than Kiwi food, I grew up with that stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm There's so, a dance. Same consistency as mm -hmm. most of the inside, mm -hmm. but outside, very different. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dip it right in here again. The thing I love about Besan is it, um, it has this like kind of thickness to it, this chew, this like, but it's still crunchy and fried perfectly. The onions pop with the sweetness. It's really absolutely amazing, huh? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm in awe right now. <laughs> hey, that was one of the best pakoras. Yeah, so good. So good, so good. Obviously, pair with the tamarind chutney. Yeah. Mango lassi, lassi. Oh, and you put some stuff on top, so yeah, what do we have there? Some nuts? Cashew. Hit up this lassi. I mean, somebody corrected me, they were like, it's not lassi. It's lassi, lassi. Mmm. Mmm. That's one. Not too thick. It's more like a smoothie. Yeah. So, is mango your favorite, or do you like the sweet? Mango's lassi? my favorite. Really? Mango, dude. Mango all day. Mango everything. I'm with them. I love the sweet lassi, the rose lassi. Oh, yeah. The rose lassi is really nice. If you've never had a rose lassi and you see it on a menu, just go get it. It's and that really one's always gonna be a little more liquidy. Yes, liquidy and it's very perfumey. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Chicken tikka next. Okay, so it's gonna jump in here. Yeah, let's do this thing. Look at this. <laughs> see, this is what, when you know it's good, you got these big old pieces of chicken in there. Huge chunks. Like, they're not messing around. At all. Cheers. Cheers oh, <laughs> lost mine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and I love this sauce. I mean, obviously the gravy mm -hmm. makes this dish. Again, national dish of Great Britain. I cannot wait to go. Mm. Easy, not spicy, creamy. Exactly. It has like that tomato paste kind of flavor to it without it being tomatoey. Mm -hmm. Man, nailed that dish. So one of the best things about Indian food, and I cannot encourage you guys enough, is you have to get beautiful garlic naan or some bread. And known for breads, but one of my favorite parts right here. You rip that beautiful piece of naan, you dunk it in that gravy. Look at this, look at this. This bite is going to be out of this world. Mm. Get all that, all that gravy. This is what makes Indian food so special. Mm. Gotta go back for another. No, it's funny because, you know, in the Western world, we love this dish. It's the intro to the Westerners to Indian food, right? But, to be honest, it's one of the most delicious dishes on planet Earth. And you can always change the protein, and if you want to go veg, paneer. That's it. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Boom, killing it. So we have some stuffed naan with chicken. Whew. Wow. My man, I'm excited. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. So how do we do this? Easy. You're doing it a different way than me. <laughs> I always rip. I'm so used to that. Yeah, I've gotten used to doing this. That's the way, he's doing the authentic way. The authentic way, man. So what do you want to try first? The I veg? See, yeah, let's go with the veg. Oh, is that a big piece of penny right there? Oh, that looks good. Look at this. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Mm. Something about stuffed nons, man. The textures, flavors. Wow. Yeah, a little doughy, right? Yeah. Not it's so like, crispy. Yes. And soft, you know? Yeah, it's super like super soft. soft. It's almost like kulcha. Yes. Like you have that sort of like. For sure. Oh, it's that, that beautiful softness to it. So many layers, flaky yeah. too. Right. So what do you want to do next? Uh, let's go fish. Fish? Here we go. Cheers, Bang. buddy. Mmm. Mmm. So soft the fish. So beautiful white fish. Mm-hmm. Um, which is nice because like, for me, you don't want something too fishy. You don't get any fishiness out of that, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't. You're getting this That's beautiful, salty. like, it's like covered in that gravy, marinated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And next we got my favorite thing ever. Ever, huh? Nah, I mean, it's one of my favorites. Malai kofta. You get a lot of different versions of it. I will say, I'm a little sad. I thought your favorite was, was the chili paneer. Oh, okay. 
because I'm making chili paneer for them. You'll see that. That's that's my favorite. That's my true <laughs> favorite dish. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Nothing like this dumpling right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The malai kofta is incredible, but I love the fish. So melai kofta, beautiful, beautiful dish. Melai means cream. Mm -hmm. uh, the kofta part of it is uh, you got potatoes, typically paneer, cashew, and it, create, it creates almost this like meatball, you know, mm -hmm. for kind of lack of better term there. Western audience might understand that side of it. But it's just packed and it's so beautiful in this creamy, rich sauce that has melai or cream in it. Amazing. And well, guys, we just did it. Our first spot, we Ooh. ate everything so good, delicious. I think we're gonna have to walk for a little bit, probably have a beer before the next spot. Definitely. It's only noon, so we did this pretty quick. Stay tuned, it's gonna get real. This plus chai, perfect way to end it. Perfect. Thank you so much, Chef. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate thank you. it. Thank you. The man. It's 12.30, we're pretty stuffed. Yeah. We're gonna go to another restaurant, but I think we need a mini break. We're gonna walk around downtown, maybe get a beer, you know, again, Craft beer capital of America? So, it. New England, New England. New England for sure. <laughs> in terms of food, we might go to a Nepalese restaurant that recently opened called Anapura. Yeah, absolutely. And Nepalese food is absolutely delicious. So you guys are in for a heck of a ride right now. So we walked for a little bit, got in the car, and we drove about 10 minutes out to see this river. So which one is this? So this is uh, Amaskeg. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the river is really high right now. We've had a lot of rain. Um, man, this is one of my favorite parts of the entire city. And all this is mill building over here. It's really beautiful and uh, they turn it into artist lofts, uh, university and also great restaurants. So go check it out. Wow, look at this river, gorgeous. So this is the old bridge, right? Yeah, so that's one of the old bridges torn out a billion years ago, replaced with this. This is where you see a lot of fireworks at 4th of July. There used to be concerts and everything all in this area. It's a really nice part of the, the uh, entire city. Perfect weather, it's like 54 degrees this morning, a little chilly. Gorgeous. Now the sun has come out, it is perfect. Absolutely. Look at this, this is autumn, right? So fall, you see the colors, all the, all the trees are just like red, yellow, green. I mean, just a big mix, beautiful river. I mean, I can just chill here. This is a perfect New England day, guy. Perfect. Love New England, bro. Where's Ben Affleck at? Matt Damon. <laughs> okay, guys, we saw the river. Let's get back in the car and go eat some more food. After a quick five-minute drive, we're here at the center of town, and we're going to go eat at Anapurna, Nepalese food. Can't wait. And this is the restaurant, Anapura. Perfect. Nailed right. it first shot. Nailed it. Awesome. So, very simple restaurant, right? So, red walls. You got some TV screens. They're all playing stuff from Nepal. And then we're going to the back. You guys ready? Let's we're go. Ready. How are you doing, Chef? Everything good? Yeah. Here you go, my man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're excited. The chef is going to make some amazing food here. Ooh. This kitchen is beautiful. Beautiful. Spotless, dude. Huge. So what are you making here, Chef? Uh, chicken chowmin. So you know, I've only eaten Nepalese food once, and that was in Bhutan. Chili mom was my absolute favorite dish. So good. Nepalese food. Nepalese food, and you can see the Chinese influence, the Indian influence, one of the best cuisines on the planet. Go eat Nepalese food. Wow. That's the thing that's beautiful about that dish. That was crazy. So the vinegar is hits you. Exactly. When it gets oil, it's blue. Oh my god. It's gonna be spicy? What do you think? Medium? Medium, yeah. Yeah, medium. Go spicy, dude. Go spicy. It's gonna have that kick. The aroma. The aroma's insane. Chef, you are the man. Okay, thank you. Follow me in the kitchen, I'm always in your way. <laughs> so this is what he's making, matar paneer. Matar, Hindi word for peas. Paneer, obviously we love paneer, paneer. So this dish is gonna be super creamy, this malai, or cream in it. Uh, you're gonna have all this wonderful flavor. Get ready for a great, great, great dish. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you. My man, thank you, I appreciate thank you. it, Look, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. I'm excited. <laughs> Nepalese food in Manchester, New Hampshire. This is gonna be epic. Do it. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Love the music, feeling the ambiance here. The food looks so good. I'm most excited for this one. Yeah, I think that's what we start with because it's kind of this classic Nepalese. When I think of Nepalese food, I think of momos. Yeah, you every just, time. They're like the best thing ever. And these are chili chicken. Uh, chili chicken or chili paneer? Chili chicken. Chili chicken. And here we have chicken chow mein. Yep. You remember what this one is? So it's green peas with paneer. Perfect. The peas are called matar in matar. Matar. Yep, so okay. matar paneer, beautiful dish. And then we've got some wonderful garlic naan. Whew, another feast. Another feast. And we limited it. We asked them for 
you know, keep it at four. If we're gonna do seven, it'd be a lot right now. We've only had like an hour and a half in between meals. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's gonna be awesome. So uh, we're starting with this one, right? Starting with the momos. Do we just eat it like this? Yeah, so I, uh, I love these things. So I'll take it, fork, knife. A lot of people, depending on the size of the momo, but this gives you that nice filling right in there. So they do this with goat, they do this with buffalo, and they do this with paneer? And paneer, yep. I'm doing a whole. Here we go. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, a fried momo. Mm -hmm. So with chicken. Yep. Mixed in mm. chili sauce, right? Sweet paste. Yeah, and it's it's vinegary. It's spicy. You feel the spice build a bit. Mm -hmm. Tingles on your tongue a little bit. Oh wow! It's got soy sauce. It's a wonderful dish that incorporates Chinese technique, Chinese flavors with a lot of Indo. So they call it Indo Chinese. Exactly. And it creates this incredible thing. Nepalese mm -hmm. food, unbelievable. It's amazing. I need to go to Nepal one day. Comment, let me know, should I go to Nepal, where should I go? Mm -hmm. Obviously, Kathmandu. Dr. Strange was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to have another one, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're just gonna dip the garlic naan into this incredible curry. Mm -hmm. Just like that, wow, beautiful. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice and creamy. Mm. Dude, I'm gonna get a big paneer, look at that. Oh, this is the bite right here. That's the bite. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice and soft, this one. Not too yeah. dense. Yeah, that's the best. It's a mark of a good paneer. A nice soft paneer. Mm. So good. This garlic naan is like lights out good. Wow, mm. what a good naan. Mm. Mm. This is one of the better naans I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. And the spice level is great, right? Mm -hmm. Send medium. You can ask for a little more of a kick if you want. Yep. But oh, whoa, I'm just gonna dip a little more, man. Got him. This is fantastic. That's like one of the best parts of this dish because it like, it's just so creamy and it offsets some of the heat of the dish. Mm -hmm. Then you get that garlic, that crunch. It's everything. Dude, with a paneer, mm -hmm. that big, chunky paneer. Mm-hmm. I need another piece. All right. Huge bite. Huge bite. You ready? Let's go. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Come here mm -hmm. for this dish. This one specifically. I love the other one, but this is crazy good. Mm -hmm. It's amazing with Indian food because you can have a matara paneer dish at one place, have it another, and it's so different. The chef did a great job of just layering this creaminess, this beautiful fattiness that works so well with this garlic naan. That's literally one of the best garlic naans I've had in a long time. Dude, I, I'm sorry I'm double dipping, but... It's okay. Wow. Whew. All right. Ooh. This is it gonna be epic. So good. This is one thing you never find in Indian cuisine. You have to have Indo-Chinese, right? Nepali. Here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm. I love how thick they are. Not too hot. So it's a chicken inside here, right? Yeah, so the chicken, the masala, the spices are just so good. Oh, dude, it's going through like the whole right? thing. Tingling a little bit. Oh, man. Whoa. Exactly what you think it would be. Perfect, like, Chinese noodles meets Indian spices and the perfect marriage. But then the spice level is starting to get hot. Like, look at my head. I'm sweating. I'm starting to sweat here. I'm sweating. Wow. <laughs> and we told him medium. We told him medium. Well, yeah, what we, happened if we, we also like, said, We also said we like spice, so yeah. I think he upped it a little bit. Because sometimes you just want that little, that feeling. You, I would yeah. say, we know a, a meal is good when your nose runs. Mm -hmm. And you can hear it in them. <clears throat> Welcome to New England. That's great. <laughs> Especially with the cold outside, this is what you need. Warm you up. You yeah. And then a nice uh, stout or something after. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might like beer. I like beer a lot. <laughs> well, what a great day. Mm. Manchester, who would've known, huh? He served himself a tiny bit. He served me like the whole plate. I, know. <laughs> I did it on purpose. He's like, oh yeah, we'll be fine with this one. Eating Indian food for 24 hours, it's like, you gotta train for this. I trained. He did. <laughs> you think I would train, but like, it's more than meets the eye. It's also why you get Raita. Exactly. Raita cools it down. Cools it down. The cool thing about eating really spicy food in summer too in India, a lot of the reason they'll eat spicy, is it opens up your pores, you sweat, the breeze, boom. Oh. Pull you down. Crazy. Didn't, didn't know that. It's almost like they knew what they were doing. Yeah, <laughs> almost, right? <laughs> they also like drink piping hot chai in piping hot conditions. You know, yeah. it's crazy. Respect. <laughs> Respect to India. 
everything about it. Chili chicken momos, some of the best I've ever had. Right. Thank you. So if you're looking for authentic Nepalese food in Manchester, New Hampshire, come here. Amazing food. The ambiance is great, really yeah. relaxing, and you have a bar, right? Yeah, we bar also. Yeah. So wine, beer, yeah, they got yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah. Man, the momos, the chow mein, yeah. Yeah. so good, so good. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it, chef. One of the cool things about a lot of Indian restaurants and food from the subcontinent is you have this beautiful thing right here. This is aniseed, it's candy, it's licorice -y. it's really good for digestion. So you pop a little after your meal, freshens your breath, and it's good for your digestion. Just get a little bit like that, just pop it. Chew it up. Mm -hmm. Chew, piss through. And I heard something that when people didn't have toothpaste, toothbrush, they would use this, you know, freshen the breath. Mm. Mm. So good. I'm pretty full, man. <laughs> I know you're pretty full too. I actually limited myself today. I took it a little easier because I went on a crazy one in Persephone yeah. where I ate like 3,000 calories in a day and I didn't feel good. You know? It's time to go do a walk and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. For sure. All right, so we took our walk and now I want to bring you for one of my favorite beers on the planet. It's a brewery called Kelson in Derry, New Hampshire. They make this Paradigm Brown Ale that won a ton of awards. Dude, you're going to love it because you love dark beers too. And by the way, just so you guys know, on Tuesdays, most breweries in Manchester are closed. Just remember that. This one is open, but it's not located here in Manchester, but only like a 15 minute drive, right? Yeah, Brown Ale, man. Dude, it's seriously so good. I can't wait. Like, we need to film just you taking that first sip because watch out of this world. Can't wait. Kelson. Kelson Brewery. Such a good place, man. You're in for a treat right now. Well, wow, look at what they have on tap. So they have Space Town, Day Rider, Battle Axe IPA. Yeah. So the brown ale, that's the one we're talking about? Paradigm brown ale. Paradigm brown ale. 7%, right? So everything is pretty good. 5 to 7%. Let's do this. And this is it. Paradigm, right? Paradigm from Kelson Brewing Company. Kelson, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> what is this? It's amazing, huh? Where has been all my life? Isn't that amazing? This is the best brown ale of all time. <laughs> I told you. The uh, really small company out of Derry, New Hampshire. They've been making this for a while, won a bunch of awards. It's just deliciousness in every sip. It's so good. It's nice and crisp. It's not too malty. Yep. I love brown ales. That's very British, right? Yep. Ales, if you guys don't know, ales and lagers, too different. Bottom fermentation, mm -hmm. hot fermentation, and ales creates everything. Basically, yeah. IPAs, red ales, uh, stouts, porters, everything stems from the ale family, and that comes from Great Britain. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, buddy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, I can't wait. After this, we're going back to his house, and we're gonna eat some biryani. Time to put on the old chef coat and go to work, huh? Oh, finally, finally, <laughs> I get to see you in action. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait, I hope you're hungry, yeah. We're gonna wait a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna wait. <laughs> I wanna have dinner like a night night. <laughs> <laughs> Authentic biryani, and uh, not a bad day. Not a bad day, cheers again. Thank you, bro. Cheers, man. Thank you. New Hampshire, incredible. I love it, man. Isn't it really good? So good. Kelson Brewing is open every single day from noon to 8 p.m. and on Fridays and Saturdays to 10 p.m. Biryani time. Beer is done, now we're going to his house, and we're gonna make some biryani. Straight from the pot. Here we go. All right, today we're making some biryani. Uh, I am so excited to have you in my kitchen, brother. Uh, biryani has so many different styles. This is kind of a style that I love, Hyderabadi biryani. Uh, it's known because it's a ground masala. It's got a little bit of spiciness to it. It's not too over the top, but the flavors are delicious. We're gonna be doing lamb, actually, in the biryani. And uh, this is lamb that was raised right here in New Hampshire. So good, you're gonna have a blast. First step is we really gotta soak basmati rice. Basmati rice has a nice long grain to it and our job is to actually soak it and wash it really good. You're gonna wanna wash it till the water runs clear. That's a lot of washing. You like kind of massage the rice and like make like a fist. Okay. And that releases a lot of the starch and impurities to it. Like what you're trying to do basically is just get that rice nice and clean. So it's like over and over again, you keep doing that with the rice. Just yeah, keep, keep soaking it. it with your hands, like you're squeezing it and making that fist. I'm gonna see the water and it's gonna start to get really nice and clear here. One of the most important steps in getting really good rice is washing it correctly. Now we're gonna add some spices and we're gonna make this thing so good. All right, so we're gonna use some whole spices here. We're gonna flavor this biryani while we're cooking it. So this is gonna be so good. This rice is gonna get these whole spices. And what I like to do is I like to use these little muslin cloths right here. And I'm gonna fill this with spices. That way, tighten this thing up just like that. Now we have this beautiful, beautiful little bag filled with spices. You can smell it, it's 
smells amazing. It'll impart all that flavor in the rice. You don't have to worry about picking out all of the pieces. So we have the rice, we have the lamb, we added you know, these two different spices. Mm -hmm. Now what, what's next? So next we're gonna start cooking this rice. One of the big things about biryani is it's really easy to overcook the rice. If you were gonna make rice and just for the table, what'll happen is that rice will be too soft. The reason is remember, you gotta cook biryani rice twice. Once like this that we par cook, and then again when you're steaming it off. That's called the dumb style of biryani. Next, we're gonna start to add some fragrance to this rice. One of the little tricks, this right here. This time, David's gonna throw in some rose water, so you're just gonna add a little tiny bit. Ready? Boom. That's it. That's it. Right, that's it. That's all the rose water we need? Really, really potent. Throw we're gonna add, up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna add some other things, too. Ready? We're gonna open this spice jar. This, Kirwa. Kirwa is a beautiful essence. It's another really fragrant. Oh, smells absolutely delicious. Same thing, just a little, oh, boom. Lamb, all we got is ginger garlic paste, green chilies. We have a special biryani mix in there. And then we let that go nice low and slow. Gets that beautiful pull apart texture. That's our biryani. This lamb looks so good. Am I gonna eat this? Yeah, you are. Right? Like, oh. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not amazing. That's so fresh. So we got some milk here and we're gonna warm up this milk slightly and this right here, that is saffron, the most expensive spice in the world. An entire crocus, which is one of the flowers, you only get three of those tiny little strands. Three, that's it. So you think about the labor, there's no machine that can do it. It all has to be picked by hand. We're gonna take some saffron here. Good amount right there. We're gonna do a little bit more because I love the flavor of saffron. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it start to bleed out, right? It gives this nice orangey kind of yellow color. And we're gonna take the back of a spoon. I'm just gonna help it along by pressing it right with the back of a spoon. This is gonna give it this beautiful color that's gonna be used to help fragrant the biryani, but also give it some color. The reason why biryani is the king of dishes is because of this. Cleopatra used to bathe an entire pool of this, right? Yep, absolutely. Crazy. And, and just smell. Oh, wow. Isn't that fragrant? So much. Isn't that incredible? Oh, incredible. That's really? the mark of a good biryani. That fragrance that comes out from not only the rice, but the rose water, the kirwa. Oh man. I smell the rose. That's like, right? it, it's like an abundance of rose right there. And so the way that we offset a lot of that floral is we're gonna add some deep flavors like fried onions. Be ready. Amazing. Here we go, the rice is perfect. It's about 50% done. A lot of times in biryani, there's fried onions, which you'll still see right here. We still do fried onions, but these two textures are something that I like to do with it. Gives it a sweetness, also gives it that crunchiness. We're gonna take some rice right here, and we're just gonna layer it right on the bottom. We're gonna take some of this wonderful lamb. So this is all the renderings from the lamb as well. This is ghee, all the lamb is cooked in ghee. You don't typically see a lot of mint and all these things that you see in layers. What I'm doing is I'm covering the meat right now, and then I'm gonna start putting on this layer of this beautiful, beautiful caramelized onions. Now some of the crunchy onion. Start adding a little bit of our saffron infused milk. The word for milk in Hindi is dood. Some more rice. Spread that right out. You know, it's funny, like Westerners, you guys will relate when you do lasagna, right? It's just layering. A really good biryani has all those nice layers to it as well. Find bones from lamb, take them right out. I mean, India, you always have the bones, right? Always have the bones. Always have the bones. It's easy to still marinate it in the bone and take the bone out. That's what slow cooking onions does. It's like onion jam at this point. Our layer of fried onions. And then finally our last layer. You ready? Oh, wow. yeah, let's do it. You wanna do the honors? I'll do it, I'll do it. Yes, there we go. Chef David Hoffman in the house tonight. <laughs> First time. <laughs> and just give it, pat that down in there and just give it a nice layer. You're gonna want a nice, yeah, there you go. Just like flatten it. Flatten it, exactly. Ooh, it's still freaking hot. It is. You gotta get those kitchen hands. Ooh. So how do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Is it good? That's perfect. Our last little bit of saffron milk. The fried onion on top. This onion jam just kicks this thing up at a whole different level. Here's the thing, you're in a kitchen, so you know what you get to do? Try it. Caramelized onion. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> oh. That's unreal. 
couple things I like to do to finish biryani. As I'm a big fan of cilantro, I really like cilantro microgreens on there. But these uh, cilantro microgreens are neat because a lot of people who have the aversion to cilantro and thinks it tastes like soap, doesn't work that way all the time. For and then finally, as always, we finish with just a little bit of salt. You don't need much. Boom. Now we're ready to put the cover on this. Put this in a really low temperature. You're gonna let that go nice and low and slow for about 20 minutes or so. Don't open the pot. So this is a dumb style of biryani. Uh, one of the things that you don't see is you don't see the dough wrapped around. The reason is the La Crusettes have a pretty heavy top and I'm not steaming this too long. There's two styles of biryani with this. One's raw and then one is cooked. Clearly you saw that I did a cook style of biryani. That's way, that way it makes it a lot shorter. You can get it a lot quicker, eat a lot quicker. This is a fun style, make sure you try it. Okay, so one of the best moments when you open a biryani is when a steam hits you in the face, <laughs> right? After you, man, okay. you gotta get that smell. Oh my God, look at the smell here. And now, oh the, yeah. The best condiment in the world for Hyderabadi biryani is this, Merchika Salan. It is made with coconut, it's made with sesame seed. It is so delicious and when you put it on the rice, mm, Lights out. The moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's do this. For you, my friend, we got this beautiful biryani. You guys have no idea. The aroma coming out of that pot. God, it looks so good too. And we're doing this traditional style. Traditional style. And then I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this on your plate right on the side. Okay. And then let me know what you think. Cause to me, this is a really great accompaniment. A lot of people will use raita, things like that. Mm. It's not delicious. Mm. So it's is this similar to sambar? Uh, no. So it's it's actually mirchi kisalan. Uh, like I said, it's made with coconut. It's made with um, right. with some sesame seed. It's like fried off. It's got beautiful curry leaves in it. But it's and like a stew or soup. Yeah, right. kind of. And it, it's kind of an accompaniment for the biryani. You mash it all together. Mm. Okay. You want to see how I do it, huh? Yeah. Oh yes. And so mix it all in. Mix it all in. Mm hmm. Oh, so good. Wow. There's a lot of fattiness to that lamb. Oh, the heat right here. <laughs> Whoa. Shoot, Cheers. Bro. Bang. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think about that? Oh, man. I need a second to enjoy it. Oh, oh, damn good, huh? It's amazing. Dude, the lamb. The lamb makes it. Yep. Right there. Whoa. And it's about cooking that lamb, rendering it down slowly. All the lamb fat gets in and cooks all these grains of rice. You get that aroma. That's when the rose comes out. You get the kirva. You get all those wonderful, fragrant flavors. It's crazy. Isn't that delicious? It's so good. And this is dinner. This is dinner. Mm. After a, a long day of eating Indian mm -hmm. food, we come back. Oh, man. Just chow down. Mm. We got all that for tonight. Yep. We need seconds. Whoa. Isn't that good? Dude, I don't even know how to compare it. No. I've had a lot of behind my life. Yeah. And this one's very unique. It is. This is. And, you know, having that fresh lamb, caramelized onions, that mm -hmm. changes the game as well. Thing, like, you don't want to take something as iconic as biryani and try to, like, make it fried rice. Because it's no, not no. fried rice. It's a completely different dish. Never say that. Exactly. Never fried rice. This is something that's elevated to the millionth degree. I need some more. <laughs> it's for sure, for out. sure. No, it's too good. Here, right there. Whoa. Boom. Maybe a tad bit more. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's different. It is. I like the coconut. Yep. Mm hmm And it gives this like nutty taste to the dish. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Ooh, look at that. Just... Mm hmm Look at that. Like how soft that lamb is. So tender. Mm -hmm. You know it's good when you're going for seconds, huh? Mm -hmm. That's great about eating with your hands is you always get that perfect bite, right? Mm -hmm. You can always get that perfect amount. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's why biryani is one of the best dishes. Don't fill up too much because we got dessert. What? I know, I know. We got to represent. You're a guest. Got to bring you, got to bring the heat. What is it? Mango lassi cheesecake. What? Yeah. Never heard of that. So we do a mango lassi cheesecake, uh, beautiful mango puree on it. Uh, girlfriend and I make it, and it is to die for. It's also gluten free. We use this beautiful ginger snap crust. Get ready. I love cheesecake. Oh man. Can't wait.
This looks crazy. So to finish it off, we got a mango lassi cheesecake. It's something that my girlfriend and I do um, for people that we love. And so the uh, the top is actually uh, shredded up coconut burfi. Oh my god! And uh, it's really delicious. That's my warning. It's really like really delicious. It's like too much. It's yeah. like decadent, it's right? Perfect. Oh Ready? Gosh, yeah. Cheers. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? That was like mango last and cheesecake and coconut just like all just blending together. And you're a cheesecake fiend I hear. Uh, I like cheesecake. <laughs> Obviously. I'm a big well, that, sweets wise, yeah. cheesecake, key lime pie, I mm, love. Key lime pie. Oh god. And it's how we're wrapping up our twenty four hours of eating Indian food in Manchester, New Hampshire, not England. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm, so good. And the crust is gluten-free on it. We use a ginger snap crust. That's really delicious. Man, isn't that delicious? It is beyond. <laughs> I have like no words for this. Whoa. It has to be at your restaurant. You, it's got to be at the restaurant. We're just going to refine it a little bit, but oh my the gosh. flavors are just gorgeous, huh? Man, what a combination. Mm. Thanks, man. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a long day eating Indian food here in Manchester. We hit up one, two, three, was four spots basically. Yep. So we start off at Taj, amazing food there, never earning spread. Mm. Then after I went to Annapurna. Yep. Right? Annapurna. You know, we had Nepalese food, really delicious. Mm. Then we hit up a brewery to have an incredible brown ale, which I wanted to show you because this place is all about craft beer up in New England. Mm -hmm. And then we came to his house and showed me how to make some biryani, you know. Oh, I have no words to describe that. The lamb, mixed some caramelized onions, are so good. And then I mean, dude, you, you kill me with this one. It, like, I, I don't love sweets. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this home. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Mm. Well, back at it tomorrow. We're gonna need a good night of sleep. Tomorrow we're doing all day right here, cooking a feast. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Manchester, New Hampshire, with my boy, Chef Keith. Sarasin, Sarasin. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're gonna be making my favorite Indian dish of all time. It's really an Indo-Chinese dish. This is chili paneer. And what is that? Well, I'm so excited to make you chili paneer. So we're gonna we're gonna cook together today. I'm gonna teach him a little bit of the tricks of the trade. Uh, this dish is inspired, just like David said. We got the Chinese influence. We've got some soy sauce with really authentic Indian flavors, and then a fun spin. So paneer is typically made with cow's milk. Today we're gonna make it with goat milk. So oh, goat wow. milk paneer adds this different layer to it. This is gonna be a blast and it's gonna be freaking delicious. So how do we start? All right, first thing we start is I marinated that paneer, already pressed it, and uh, we're gonna start cutting that up. You ready to do this thing? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. While he's cutting the paneer, I'm gonna just try one. Hmm. Mmm. Cottage cheese, also known as ricotta. Yeah, so paneer is really easy to make. You just take the milk, you get either lemon juice or citric acid, you basically get curds, press it, and that's what you get, and that's paneer. So we're gonna get some ghee out right here, because I like to start by searing this beautiful paneer in all desi ghee. It's an amount of ghee in there, and this is a traditional Indian pot called the kadai. So we're just chopping up these beautiful peppers here. So you get whole peppers and onions in there, fried, it's so good. Boom. Can't have enough onion. And I like to chunk these up just like this because they're gonna get fried right in that ghee. This is lacto-fermented chilies. Basically what you do is you take chilies, you take them down with a little bit of salt and then you press it. They start to ferment and then I put this as the main paste with this with soy sauce and some vinegar. Oh man, now get a smell of this. Oh, that's chili. That's chili, right? Mm, I just try a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit right there. Whew. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be it's hot. It's gonna be a spicy chili. Oh, chili paneer. <laughs> We're gonna get those vegetables nice and sauteed. So the traditional Indian spatula is this called a palta. Boom. And now we're gonna flip this all around. And we're gonna sear all this paneer together. I'm gonna add a little bit of cashmere chili powder. I dehydrate these and then make this beautiful powder just like that. What we're doing is we're just getting that paneer nice and soft. It's gonna be so good. 
And so all I want to do is sear this paneer. You see how it's getting that beautiful like golden color, a little bit of crispiness on it. I just want to get a little bit of that. A lot of times restaurants will actually coat this in cornstarch and then they'll fry it before they do it to this mixture. I like to do it this way. It gives a little bit more of that softness of the paneer that I think makes this dish beautiful. All right, looks like we're ready for our chili sauce. And now all of a sudden it's gonna smell absolutely amazing. Guys, the aroma is so intense. It's so good. Oh, mm. spicy. It's gonna be really spicy. And it's done. And it's done, that's it. That's it, Woo! Beautiful paneer. And that uses goat milk, which is so, gives it a whole other layer to it. And we're gonna finish it off with a little micro cilantro. Perfect way to give it a little bit of color and freshness is this wonderful micro cilantro. And our chili paneer is ready. The piping hot chili paneer. And here we go, we are breaking our fast at 11 a.m. with some chili paneer, super hot, mixing with some rice, right? Long day ahead of us, mm -hmm. here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good chili paneer, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> cheese. It's not too dense. Right. No, I love that. Falls apart very easily. Yep. Mm, nice spices here. Ooh. It's got a nice kick to it. It's got vinegar, so it has a sourness to it. The thing that makes this dish really cool, that paneer is soft. And that the reason is we soak it in that milk. We soak it in all goat's milk. So I reduce the goat's milk after. Let it soak right in that and it's, oh. My gosh. So what's your favorite dish? Oh man, that's such a hard one. Mm -hmm. It depends, like in colder months, it's hard to beat like a really good dal and rice. Oh yeah. It's just like comfort food to me. Mm -hmm. um, Nihari though, you know all about the Nihari. Nihari, Nihari is awesome. Nihari is like really amazing. There's this spice blend that's so heavy, like over 26 different spices going in Nihari. It's this thing called Latsi Tham. It's like, it means super masala. Super masala. Yeah. Wow. This one, dude, I hate saying this. I know I say it a lot, but this is the best chili veneer of all time. This is... Thank you. I didn't pay him to say that. No, you know, obviously <laughs> we're having it, you know, fresh. You just made yeah. it. We're eating it hot. Oh, the chili. It's not like yeah. overbearing heat. Just nice, subtle. Yep. Mm, you still feel the tingle, right? You still feel the tingle. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And I, I would suggest always pairing it with rice. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Like, bread can work well. Roti works well. Chapati works well, but... Something about rice with it. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 I'm gonna finish the whole thing. It's so good. Peppers, man, they give it that sweetness. Mm hmm. When you bite into one. Mm hmm. Plus the onion. Mm hmm. Put a little salt in here, too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it's easy to make this. It's not hard, right? You saw how it came together so fast. So easy. I say just added a few different things, right? A few mm -hmm. different ingredients onions, paneer, mm -hmm. bell peppers. Yep. Then you have the. This is the cilantro? Yep, micro cilantro. And like the cool thing about it is you fry it all in desi ghee. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful ghee. And then it comes together really quick, has this nuttiness to it, spice is there. And you can control the spice. If you don't like something spicy, you can cut back on it. Exactly. But the lacto fermented peppers, it's one of those things that like, oh, it's that little chef, chef trick that, uh, that puts it over the top. And so this cheese, you got fresh goat cheese from the area, right? So you get fresh goat milk, and then you put it on high heat, mm -hmm. and then you're stirring it, and then as it starts to come to that, like, almost like simmer phase, that's when you put in your lemon or your citric acid, and it separates the fat from the whey, and you scoop up the fat for with it and drain it out, and you just tie it and press it, and, and that's, that's it. what you get. Now you get these blocks of beautiful yep. paneer. Wow. I'm going to put all the ingredients below the recipe. Yep. Obviously, you're going to have to do it at home yourself. And I have a, you know, a five-star executive chef right here, so <laughs> I got the best version of this. <laughs> and yeah, when you're making this, tag. Tag David, tag, tag me. Mm -hmm. Man, like, this is, this is food right here that we love. I'm not leaving this one. No. Man, this, this cheese, wow. Yeah. Mm. You know what's good when your mouth starts getting hot. Yep. Your nose starts to drip. The nose has to trip just a little bit. If it's too much, then you need lassies like crazy. Mm -hmm. But a lassie wouldn't be bad right now, huh? It wouldn't be bad at all. You know, we only have three little pieces of paneer left, so I'm finishing it. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm. Favorite dish. Mmm. So good, I can't stop. Mm hmm. Hey, look. <laughs> the sweat. So that chili paneer was amazing. Let's show you guys some spices and see how this all comes together. Boom. Let's start with green cardamom. Green cardamom is known as a lychee in Hindi. It's got this beautiful flavor to it. It smells so good. Use it in a masala chai. It, like, it works great with meat. Uh, green cardamom you'll find in a lot of things. It also is really good when you flavor your rice when you cook it. Black cardamom smells a lot like whiskey. It has this beautiful scent to it that's deep and rich. You use a lot of black cardamom in more complex masalas and spice blends. Next, we've got cumin. Cumin is known as jira in Hindi, and it's one of the backbone spices of so many different dishes. There's a d bunch of different styles of cumin. This is just regular old cumin. There's shai jira as well, which is a black cumin that you use in some dishes that almost smells a little like pine, so it's pretty cool. Next, black mustard seed. Black mustard seed is really pungent. It actually came from China originally. Black mustard seed you're gonna find in a lot of Bengali dishes. It's really small, we use it for tempering, for a technique called tadka. And the cool thing about it is it's pungent, but as soon as you start roasting it, it gets really, really nutty and aromatic. Next up, ajuan seeds. Ajuan seeds are something maybe you don't know, but first of all, they smell amazing. You'll see ajawan seeds in a lot, of, a lot of Gujarati cooking. You'll see ajawan seeds in the dough of samosa as well. Really good. So many spices. This is ridiculous. So many spices. Black pepper. Mm, the best. So black pepper, give that a smell. Black gold. Absolutely. Can and I have one? Absolutely can. And remember where this grows? Kerala. Exactly. Mm. David's been there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So black pepper, you think of Kerala, you think of, it grows everywhere, just just like crazy wild. Black pepper has some crazy history too. You know it was actually used to save Rome? The Visigoths were gonna sack Rome, and one of the things that saved Rome was 40 sacks of black pepper. So garam masala. Garam is the Hindi word for hot, and masala means spice mixture. This smells amazing. This is my homemade garam masala. All the spices that I have here, I grind. So you gotta smell this. Oh my gosh. The best garam masala. <laughs> wow. It's so pungent. It would hit me in the nostrils. It's not spicy. What it's used to do oftentimes with garam masala is finish dishes. So let's talk Kashmiri chilies. These little boys are fantastic. It's funny, they're not that hot, but what they do is give a beautiful color to dishes and they smell so delicious. Let's talk cinnamon. Cinnamon is actually bark. Oh, smells so good. Imagine what Thanksgiving in the West would be like without cinnamon in most of your dishes. The cool thing about this is it's actually bark that's stripped off of a tree. This is cassia cinnamon, different style of cinnamon, less sweet, used in garam masala, used in a lot of different dishes, especially meat dishes, and deep dark curries. Mm. What's, what's it without cinnamon? You just, you, you're missing something. And that is the morning. We had super spicy paneer tree. Well, not so spicy. That was spicier. Yeah, peppercorns don't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't know about Keith, he is a chef based out of Manchester, New Hampshire. He's opening up a restaurant called Atma, right? Mm -hmm. So basically somewhere between here and Boston is where we're gonna open it. Yep. And you focus heavily on Indian food. That's what you do. Yeah, we do authentic flavors with real modern fine dining plating techniques. And uh, every time you come, you get a history lesson and we never repeat courses. So it's gonna be a blast. You're really gonna get a journey through India. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here coming at you from Woburn, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. Today I'm here with my boy, Chef Keith Sarasin, and we are here at Godavia. That was pretty good. Godavari. <laughs> Godavari, Godavari. So this restaurant has 30 locations between Canada and the United States, and here we're gonna do something really special. We're gonna have the Buhubali Tali. I've done this in India actually twice, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's like literally a tali, this big dish like this, with 50 different items, 50. So you have breads, you have rices, curries, what else, desserts, I mean, it's never ending, dolls, it's insane, so much to try. 
I'm excited and this place is actually specializes in South Indian cuisine. So it's not gonna be just all North stuff, it's gonna be a lot of South, it's gonna be probably some fish curries, yep. etc. right? And Bahubali basically means one with strong arm. There's an awesome movie about it too, so go check that out. Hope your arms are feeling strong. You ready, big guy? I don't know if my stomach's ready for this though. Let's do it. <laughs> See you there. Let's go inside, let's go inside. And this is the restaurant. As soon as you walk in, pretty amazing. They have literally half a car here. They cut out the, the front, right, where the engine yep. is, and they put a couch. And then in front of us, we have, that's like a piece of a bus, right? Yeah, Tata trucks, uh, super, super iconic in India. You see a lot of Tata trucks, you know that. Exactly. And then we've got little Tiffins, we've got these beautiful little ornate things. Super feels just like we're kind of back at this like village and it has that India feel, which is what you want, right? Exactly, exactly. So it feels very Southern, especially up here. Every temple you go to, you get this. And then you have some, you know, very famous people from India all over the walls. They have two rooms. Obviously, that one's closed right now. This is the one that people are dining at. You have the Tiffins. You have easily, I'd say, like 25 tables. And we're going to go in the back now, and we're going to see how they make the incredible Buhubali Tali. Yeah, you ready? I'm so ready for this one. I'm ready, too. My man, ready to go. With the Tali ready, they'll start preparing and keep the curry. Hello, hello. 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 Guys, look at this. This is the Tali. This is it right here. That is insane. Look at all of these. This is insane. This is gonna be so much food. I hope you guys are ready for this. Wow. And here we go, they're just starting. We have, what, like already 10. We have a big mix here. We have some idli. Oh, the oh. idli. Oh, the chana. That chana is gonna be so good. We got beautiful idli. We've got samar rasam. Oh man, this is gonna be, are you ready? I'm ready, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm actually. Building. We got another one getting. And then a strip, right, right, right strip? It's crazy. Briyani, we got some dosas, like these are like tata dosas, very small dosas. Wow, just like never ends, man. Incredible. What and we is still it? have more to go. It's insane. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my god, I don't even see you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's no joke. They need two guys to carry the whole thing. Is it three guys or two guys? Two guys? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And this is it, my friends, the Buhubali Tali. Strong arm, 50 dishes on one big, massive plate. What are we doing? How this, do we start? This is insane. This isn't, like, it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. In the best way. All right. <laughs> you know what, man? Guest is God. You get to start. Guest is God. So maybe we do some of the easy stuff first, and I don't know what that is at this moment, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it's like, you know, chana. Chana. Chana masala. Right? You going in for it? Yeah, we just get... So we're not using plates because we're just going to try everything at the end. You know, we'll really indulge. Cheers, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect way to start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Mmm. Nice tricky. little spice to it. Mm -hmm. It's nice because a lot of times, like in China, you won't get that spiciness. Boom. Spices there. Tamarind's there. Mmm. Next. Next to be probably that one, right? So it's uh, so aloo. This is, yeah, this is aloo. Potato sabji. Looks like there's matar, paneer in it. There's some, it looks like kalanji seeds, which are really nice. It smells amazing. Oh, mm. really light. Very light. Really light. That's one of the things that I love about, oh, that's really light. That actually reminds me of, like, of one of these light, like yellow dolls, right? Yeah, yeah. It almost reminds me of like the potato inside uh, dosa. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so potato mash or mashed potatoes, right? Yeah, oh, that's delicious. Um, um, okra, right? Okra. So there's bindi. Beautiful gravy to it. Looks nice. Oh. Mmm. This one deserves a second bite. He's going second. That's how you know it's good right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, so good. So we have to avoid the sweets. Yeah. So because that's sweets the last. Here. These are these beautiful little chop, little snacks. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm hmm Those are fun. Very crunchy. Mm-hmm. You need that texture sometimes. Mm. Well, I think we gotta stay over here and see what else we can finish. Okay. Because now we're gonna forget what we ate, right? Let's go in. So this looks like a doll. Like? Yeah. It's like a nice, more like a oh, red, orange beautiful doll. Beautiful doll. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. That's what I needed. Not too spicy. See? Second dip. That's how you know. Mm hmm. Gotta be careful. Two dips here it turns into 100. Turns into a. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, well, so it looks like we got prawn or some shrimp over here. Mm -hmm. I say we take a shrimp. Yeah, it's shrimp beach, right? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Ooh. Look right here. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. 
Uh, so very onion gravy heavy. Mm -hmm. The thing that I love about this dish, first of all, the shrimp's actually perfect. 100%. It's not cooked too much, not rubbery, and it's just so good. So Tangy. Good. You get that little, it's you almost like it. vinegar, like when you have vindaloo. Exactly. It's not vindaloo, but you get that same thing. And this is perfect a gravy for the naan. Oh, it's perfect. There's so many good, like the dal and the naan. Mm. Mm. Like I was so. going to ask you a question. So they gave us a dosa right here. <laughs> yeah, right? kundosa. So, and this is probably like a ghee roast or something like that, right? Yeah, so it looks like a typical kundosa. Uh, dosa is amazing. It's South Indian, obviously. You've had a million dosa. Love dosa. Um, and that was going to, oh man, I just want to, yeah, you should so, just rip and dip, right? But where do we put it into? That's the thing. Sambar. Oh, okay, we're here. We, so we I, some, I was thinking, where the, where's the sambar? <laughs> sambar and rasam right here. Uh, awesome. You also have coconut chutney, so, you know. Oh, do we? There's that green coconut chutney. Oh. See, I thought we had just desserts over here. It's like a here. wishbone, and this guy gives me this piece? <laughs> Come on. Just go in, fold, fold, fold if you want. All right. So we have two different ones, right? I gotta go coconut chutney first. Okay, so this is because it. Because my buddy Tarun makes amazing coconut chutney. Let's do so it. You, know, you just gotta. Right here. Oh, uh, I'm dipping with you, bro. Mm-hmm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's one of the best things in the world. For me, it's tamarind and going to chunny. Nothing. Mm. Nothing compares. I like it. Right? And this is a sweet or another chutney? So that, that looks like a that looks like a sweeter chutney? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. See? I don't know everything. Yeah, and remember, oh. 50 dishes. It's mixed with chutney. I know what this is. All right, I take it back. I know everything. <laughs> this is a peanut chutney. Mm -hmm. Peanut chutney. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice. Mm. That's perfect for that. Yeah, so it's like a peanut butter chutney, right? Basically. So sometimes you see peanut chutney being a little bit thicker. This is thinner, mm -hmm. and it works perfect. It soaks all that up. Yeah, it's awesome. I say you rip another piece, we got to go sambar. Sambar. Let's do sambar it. and rasam. Okay. Sambar is right here. So let's do sambar. Well, sambar, so one of my favorite things in the world. We've used it on Atma menus, and uh, oh man, it's just, oh. you can't beat it. Can't. And if you want, you can drink it. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. It's my favorite bite so far. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying a lot. That's, that's really good. That actually outbeats the coconut chutney. Yeah. Me. Oh man, they're so wow. good. I'm gonna get one more. This one, right? Yep. This muscle? Mmm. Muscle. Rasam. That rasam. So I'm pretty sure that rasa is like flavor, like lots of flavor. I could mm -hmm. be wrong on this one. I could be wrong, so message me in the comments so I can learn too. But rasam might be the word for that. <coughs> so similar consistency, obviously. Mm. It's a little stew, but it is different. Spicier. Spicier. <coughs> you hit that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feel it right here. Oh, I love that. I oh. think we need to go to some fried stuff. Fried stuff? Let's just, just we'll, turn we'll, it. <laughs> That's all we gotta do, right? We need like a wheel in the middle of the table, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Pass you this. Okay. This looks like it's gonna be murchy. So murchy pepper. It okay. looks like a pepper pakora. Okay. I could be wrong, but we'll crack in. Yeah. I'm right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Back in a thousand so far. I'm right here. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. That's too oh. spicy. Here's what I think we should do. Yep. There's that coconut chutney. Oh, you say we go for it? Yeah, yeah, we're going. It's because David knows. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, you have to mix this stuff, right? You don't yeah. want it too dry. Mmm. That was good. Dude, anything fried with that chutney. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is staring at us. This looks like almost like a Kerala fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I cannot confirm that yet, but I'm gonna tell you it looks delicious. Mmm. Did you go for it already? No, I had a little piece of felt mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, yeah. I got a pepper on mine, so I'm going for both. I don't like, even care. It's like a chicken fry, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Okay. I love it. Mm. I don't care if I'm getting full. I'm having another one of these. You know, this reminds me, closest chicken I've ever had to this is um, Chick-fil-A's. Yeah. It's funny. The consistency is that this is spiced so much better. Sorry, Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. But Obviously. the masala blend in this is amazing. But you're right. The coating is a lot like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like a more of a light batter, right? Oh, man. This is amazing. Kerala fried chicken. If that's so what good. you are, which I think that's what you are, God bless you. <laughs> I have a lot of Kerala. Kerala. Keralites, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Over here. Another fried chicken, I think. It smells so good. Oh, wow. So nice. Oh, Tallies are the greatest things on the planet. Look at this, guys. Right here. Ooh. Wow. You know what? One of the things that's great about this is they use chicken thigh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for using chicken thigh. Like, 
we need to wake up. Chicken thigh has so much more flavor. Oh, it definitely oh. does. And guys, please don't do two bites because I'm no. getting full. <laughs> mm -hmm. You feel it already, huh? We gotta do this. You have to do it. It's what we train for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this dish right here. Indo-Chinese dish, influenced by the Chinese, mm -hmm. spiced with these beautiful spices of India, and mm. really one of the tastiest dishes ever. Amazing. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Cauliflower. You know, who'd have thought? Not indigenous to India, but man, did they perfect it. Yeah. Lights out. And this dish is oh. stunning, man. This is another, like, one of my favorites with chili penne, which is somewhere over Doesn't here. Doesn't it remind you almost like of a general gal chicken? Exactly. Like that same sort of thing, yeah. but just kicked up a notch in a better way. And if you want to, you can make it extra spicy. Yup. Where are we going? We got chili paneer. We got chili paneer right there? Uh-oh. Just uh -oh. look at it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Mm-hmm. There we go. Beautiful chili paneer. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. It's a nice dense penne cube. Yep. Vinegary. Vinegary. I feel a little bit of spice now. Yeah. I don't know if it's what it is, but you're doing good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. This is this is what David does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is what I live for, bro. Next. So where have we not gone? We have Italy right there. We have Italy. Try Let's try an Italy. Let's just rip off a little piece of Italy. Yeah, Italy, we feel like I f you can fill up on real quick. Oh yeah, definitely. So if you guys don't know what Italy is, this is a steamed rice cake. Best thing to do is dip it over here into one of these chutneys. So I got a little piece because I know how filling this is, <laughs> right? And you also have some wonderful stuff. This is made with Sona Masuri typically, which mm -hmm. is a rice that you get in the south. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's a great idli. One more. It, these are like little sponges. So if you've never had one before, imagine this like spongy texture that just soaks up anything you put it in. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we were doing the peanut curry and uh, we were doing the uh, coconut chutney. Coconut and chutney. it lights out. Yeah. So best thing to do is like literally drown it in, let it absorb everything. Yep. Just pop it. So over here we have Pongo. Pongo. So I've had Pongo in Bangor, actually. Ooh. So how was that trip? That trip was amazing. That trip changed my life. And if you haven't seen that, you can find that right on the channel. Right here. Like that plug? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have onions. Yep. What else do we have in here? Oh, man. It's a seed right there. It needs to, we just need it. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's one of the better pongos that I've had. So it's almost like a very thick mashed potato. Uh, yeah, it exactly. It is sort of the same sort of concept, semolina, like you have that thickness to it. The thing I love about this one is you have that butteriness of ghee in it. Yeah. You taste that? Like yeah, that's what kind of comes out. Absolutely delicious. Where are we at next? Man, it just keeps going. It keeps going. Let's go this way. I feel like we haven't went halfway yet. Just dive into this? Dive in. What is I this? Know. I feel boned. You feel bone, huh? This one needs a bread. <laughs> you think it needs bread? <laughs> but we, we can't we'll fill up. Not yet, not yet. We're, we're gonna do bread then. I, I got right? a little bit. That's all I got. <laughs> Dude, I can't even get. Ah, oh, whatever. This is gonna whatever. be so good. Whoa. Them? Or goat? Goat. Goat? That's some goat. That is really, really nice. Oh, oh man, you got this creaminess from the base of the gravy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's See, good. I didn't expect that one. Yeah, Keep me going. either. Oh, I don't even know what to tell you, bro. I'm getting the food coma. <laughs> <laughs> David's gonna sleep the entire way home. <laughs> oh, for sure. So what is this one? I'm bringing in the spoon. But you have to. If not, we're gonna eat way too much right now. Take it slow, guys. Boom. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It's easy to think that like once you have chicken curry, you have everything, right? Yeah. But man, a dish like this, that's very much what you would think, chicken curry. The flavors. The flavors are outstanding. Every restaurant does it different, and man, that's a real good one. Man, the spice level here. Going up, going yeah, up. I'm feeling hot. Yeah. And by the way, the reason I'm letting him talk so much is because he's a chef. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's <laughs> not <laughs> true. David knows a lot of what he's talking about. I'm messing with you, dude. Okay, so over here we have two different panniers, right? Yes, for sir. sure. This one's you. Okay, so this is, is it pala or sag? This one. Sag. So th this looks like sag paneer to me. Okay. And so sag is kind of wintergreen, pala means spinach. Exactly. So let's do this one. Nice cubed paneer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like this one. I love that. It's not too thick. That's beautiful. I guess we'll go to the next one. Ooh. This one. This looks like a malai, 
Uh, Malai Kofta. Is it? But is it paneer, no? Is it paneer? Could be Malai paneer. Maybe. We'll try it. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken. Mmm. Mmm. It's chicken to my side. This is why you don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> it's chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, you know what's crazy? We only went on the outer layer. <laughs> so, if I die, you can have all my cookbooks. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do with the vada is we'll just split it in half, right? Vada. Yeah. Vada. You a big fan of vada? I love vada. Vada yeah, me too. It looks a little like a donut, but it's not a donut. It's like a spiced savory lentil cake. Exactly. And you dip it into sambar. Oh, look at you. David knows so much. I'm proud of David. You have to. <laughs> all right, well, I I'll like, bring it to you. I'll bring it to hold you. Hold on, I have to reach all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So good. Whoa. All right, bro. I see something on the plate that has your name on it. Which one? Dun, dun. What is this one? <laughs> <laughs> this is Murchibashi. So, this is a. Uh, a beautiful pepper that is encased in bison, which is chickpea flour. Um, this one, man, I think you just take a good bite. Okay. David's been there. Mm hmm. Is it good? Mm hmm. Chili. It's nice, right? Yeah, look at that. Huge. Look at all that chili in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's the chili guts. Let's leave it over here. Not gonna have any more of that. That's filling. Lots of batter. Mm hmm. That's like drinking a Guinness. Mm hmm Exactly. Just fills you up really mm -hmm. quick. Look at these little chicken lollipops. Chicken lollipops. What is this? This is beautiful. So this is just a nice little chicken lollipop. They scrape it right down to the bone so you got all this meat right here. Mm hmm All right, bro. Here, here we, we go. go. Mm hmm Mm hmm Mm. Mm hmm that's a great bite. It's always so good. Mm -hmm. And that's not a chicken drumstick. That is a chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Moved all the way to the bottom. See? Mm -hmm. I've learned. He knows his stuff learned. right there. <laughs> um, I don't know about you, but it's starting to hit me. It, it's definitely hitting me. This yeah. is this is getting this is getting to be a lot. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to dig deep. Yeah, I think we have to try this one. Yep. So what is this one? So this is a shredded paneer. Oh, okay, shredded paneer. This is shredded paneer and it looks like a cream or malai. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's that chicken tikka sauce. Yeah. Very tomato based. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. That needs a bread. It definitely needs a bread, but you know but what? Let's just peel back the layers. Oh yeah, look at this. To see guys. how much more there is. And we still have all it's like it's crazy. This is like an onion because I want to cry. <laughs> I just want to cry. There's more. <laughs> so we have dessert here, dessert here, rice, rice, palaos. So oh, man, maybe we try one of these biryanis. Which okay. one? Yeah, this is chicken for sure. What? I'll go with the mutton. There's three different biryanis. Look at this big chunk here. Oh man! All right, I got you. Yeah, just Pull. bring it off. Uh huh. You got this. The struggle's real. And then you get some oh, of that rice. Right. I'm gonna rip this. I don't up. really want that onion. <laughs> Oh man, it's too much. It's I too got much. you. I got the onion. I will take this. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my god. That mutton. That mutton is delicious. Tons of clove. Mm -hmm. That clove hit you. Exactly. That clove, that cinnamon, all those warming spices that you find with oh. garam masala. You know. Oh, dude, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys don't know what mutton is, that's actually sheep. From my understanding, that is not lamb. Correct. So mutton, they say in India, is typically goat, and in America, mutton tends to be older lamb, older like lamb. things like that are sheep. Like, like yeah, sheep. Yeah. Right? Well, let's do one of these like small little pancakes. Okay. So these, it's what do these look one. like to you? Oh, this yeah. is like uthapam. There you. It's like mini uthapam. Man, David, I'm so proud of you, dude. <laughs> you kill it all the time. Okay. So kind. And he really is good. <laughs> Right here, right? Yeah, I coconut? say coconut chutney. <laughs> we're like coconut chutney. Oh, we're, Gluttons we're, here. We're like, you know what? Let me drink that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Wait till you have taroots. All right. Mm. Mm. You guys don't know what Very similar to American pancake. Yep. So when you have dosa batter, 
it's the same batter. And when it's over fermented and it's sour, you typically make udapam with it. Mm -hmm. Udapam is just soury and delicious. Man, that coconut chutney is sweet and perfect. The parota. Yeah. It's, this I is love good. this. Oh, the layers. Just, that's what you love right there. Those layers. I love how they do it in, uh, in Kerala. They go, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's like crispy. explodes. Yep. Uh, it's so good. And this is another one you got to dip into some gravy. So which gravy do we like? Um, so I thought, <laughs> yes, <laughs> the same yes. one. I Let's thought the, the shredded paneer one. When you were in Kerala, did you, did you have your videos of that, of the paratha, huh? Too many, man. Too many. I had that every day. Oh. Mm. Mm. It deserves a second dip. Mm. For me, one of the things that makes Indian food so good is that. Mm -hmm. It's that bread, that gravy, pound, boom. No other cuisine has it. No. We've got sweets. Chicken we've, tandoor. We, still <laughs> we have egg. Oh my god. This is like a, a maduro, like a planting. Yeah. Right? Very I've never good. seen that in Indian cuisine. And then. So, I say we rip off a piece. Like that. <laughs> Please share this with like 10 other people. <laughs> At least. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. I'm loving the sauce on this. Mmm. Mmm. That torn tandoor smokiness. We, like we were saying, it's like a backyard barbecue just kicked up a hundred notches. Is that real? I'm gonna skip the samosa and this one because they're gonna fill us they're up way too yeah. much. I think we're almost on sweets. We're getting there. I think we just have one more with the bun, which. Yep. This is a different type of batter, huh? Yeah, so it looks like uh, green udapam. Okay. Oh, it smells wonderful. Mm hmm And the same thing, right? We dip into the Yeah, coconut. I say I say coconut, do you, or do you want to do peanut? Let's do peanut, let's do peanut. All right. Boom. Hey, hey. Coming in. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you always dip with your friends. <laughs> mm hmm mm -hmm. Peanut was the right call. You know what, I'll go with coconut again one more time. Yeah, because you could never go wrong. Wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What a crazy dish, but amazing. Oh, we haven't tried this by the way. Yeah, so this, this looks almost like a masala, like a little masala snack, like masala vada. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think it's like a, almost like a vegetable fritter. Yeah, very similar to pakora. It, it, it but definitely different. looks like it. Oh, it smells delicious. Not familiar right. with this one. If you know this one, leave it in the comments. Yeah, I'd love to hear this one. Do we dip for this one? I want to go straight because I've never had this yeah. one. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. Obviously very crunchy inside. Still a little doughy. Like mm. Soft. Definitely feels like like a dal. Mm -hmm. Like either chana dal or tor dal. Some onions in here as well. That's delicious. It's very good. Whoa. I love that one. That's fun. That is fun. I, I got one more. <laughs> you have to? <laughs> Can't waste. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't worry, guys. We're taking this home. Mm -hmm. We're eating this tonight. Everyone's tomorrow. eating this. Oh my! <laughs> okay, we're gonna feed the whole state of New Hampshire with this. <laughs> David is is Indian food drunk now, and so don't worry. I will be driving him home responsibly. He will. And luckily, we're not drinking anything but water, so we're good. <laughs> so I these two. I, I think we go sweets. Yeah. We gotta start wrapping some of this up, or we're just gonna we're never gonna make it. You know, we gotta try these tiny gulab jamuns. Look at this, guys. Tiny. So these tiny ones are called anguri jamans. Anguri jamans. Yeah. Awesome. I might be saying that wrong, but I know it's pretty close. Anguri. Oh. And I get some more of that sugar syrup. Boop, boop, boop. I have a love-hate relationship with this now. There's only a love. It's <laughs> too sweet. Mm. That's mm. one of the best flavors in the entire world. Mm -hmm. It's like, just take my leg. You yeah. know? Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Rava, Kisar, sorry. Like that. Kisar is the word for... Oh, Kisar, Kisar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kisar is the word for saffron. And mine is splattered with the... Uh, <laughs> with, with all the work that we've done. Mmm. Mmm. It's almost like a rice pudding. Mm-hmm. I love the density of it. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. Another one's very similar, right? Yep. So... I think in Bangalore, they actually may mix these, by the way. Yeah, so this looks like bread halwa to me. Oh, this is bread halwa? Yeah, this looks like one. Has mm. to be, right? Mmm. Mmm. Creamy, delicious. It's like, uh, and we, we gotta end with your favorite. Yeah, Ras Malai, right here. This is the ultimate, you know, I'm gonna take a half because today I am full. That's when you know he's full. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is that, guys, you know, this is, this is heavy. 
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The saffron. It's too good. Oh man, I don't. What are we missing? <sighs> A nap. <laughs> <laughs> this <sighs> is if you're gonna do this. First of all, you're going to do this because you see this, and this is dope. Yeah. When you do this, bring a small army or a hundred of your closest friends. <laughs> At least ten. Yeah. I mean, this is Legit. definitely a for ten. You will finish it probably off, you know? Yeah. Ten hungry people. Ten hungry. We didn't miss anything, right? No, we ate. We got anything. non. We got... Yeah, I mean, we missed the non. We missed this one and the egg, but don't worry. As soon as the camera's off, we're going to invite some people. We got this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it my friends we are done Buhubali Tali at Godavia man you feel like you've been in a fight oh man I feel like I'm in a food coma yeah this was absolutely delicious seriously you need to go here yeah um and you better send this to some of your friends because this thing is it's nuts it's, right it's nuts and by the way the way it works here is it's only at this restaurant they have a lot of restaurants um, but you have to do it here. You have to call a day in advance and make your reservation. That you can't just come here and say I want it. 120 US dollars, 50 dishes. Usually five, ten people eat this whole thing. I mean, we didn't even make a dent. Yeah. And I don't know if I can have any more. Like I was gonna jump in some more, the ones I liked a lot, but it's a lot. Wow. Some chai. <sighs> <laughs> so chai, maybe so chai. Yeah, maybe, oh maybe water and a nap. <laughs> exactly. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Boston, Massachusetts with my boy, Chef Keith Saracen. Today, we're gonna be eating Indian food for 24 hours in this beautiful city. So what are we doing today? Oh man, we're gonna have such a good day. We're gonna start off right here in the seaport at Madras Dosa Company, which I'm excited for. Morning, you always want dosa and chai, right? Oh, I can't wait. Dosa, dosa, dosa. Then we're gonna have so many good dishes today. Where are we going after that? We're going downtown, right? Yeah, so we're gonna walk about 15 minutes over to downtown to Bayanga. There, it's a uh, South Indian food, right? Yep, which I'm excited for. And then we're gonna finish it up in 1947. Clearly an homage to Indian independence. And they have over 250 dishes on that menu. That's crazy, right? 250 dishes. Man, we're That's gonna- insane. We're gonna have a blast today. Get ready. Get ready, we're excited. And Madras is uh, right there. Let's go. Let's do it. And this is Madras Dosa Company, right outside. Beautiful area, you can sit, relax, go inside. You can see them making the dosas right there. Let's go. Hi guys, we're at Madras Dosa Company today. At, at Seaport Boston. Uh, this is our newest concept, where we make it dosa live, which is how we used to have it back home. You could choose from sweet to savory, uh, 30 to 40 fillings. And every time you come in, you make a different combination, so it's a whole new experience all over. And we also have live chat, which is a celebration of textures and flavors, a very, very popular Indian street food. Yeah, take a look at the dosa being made live. Madras Dosa Company is amazing. Look at this, I've never seen this type of dosa griddle, you know, with the vents and everything here. So cool. So he makes like four different doses at a time. Right now we're getting some unique ones, right? So you get the menus up here. So you have veg dosas, you have specialty dosas, you get some sweet ones as well, some beautiful idlis, big co different combinations, right? This one with the chips. I don't even, what is this, man? This one. Let's see. Late chips. Uh, onion, late chips, pullover chaat. So onions, late chips, and uh, what is the sauce? Pullover chaat. Pullover chaat. It's a horse gram. Horse gram. Oh, horse gram. Yeah. I mean, it looks fantastic. And then also he's doing the idli, which is like a different type of idli because it's like a chat idli. So he broke up the idli, cut it up, and he put like a, a bunch of different, you know, chutneys on top. Looks so good. It's gonna be amazing. All right, this is it. Madras Dosa Company. We got two dosas. We have an incredible idli. It's like almost like a chat, right? He mixed it up with a bunch of different things. Yeah, it looks so good. I mean, there's wonderful pomegranate seeds on it. Everything you want in a chat. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm super excited. And we also have four different drinks or five different drinks. We have obviously chai. We have masala jira, mm -hmm. right? Then we have two different lassis. So one of them is more like a I, don't know, I guess a sweet lassi, but it has some masalas. Yep. This is mango lassi. And what's over there? Oh, mango lassi, and we've got beautiful box water. <laughs> I love that. But we've got chai, you know, chai and dose, it's hard to beat that, right? You have to have that combination, you right? Have to. And here we go. Let's open this up. At, at the same time? Yeah, and look at the packaging. This is brilliant right here. Just so smart. Brilliant. Ready? Yeah. 
It's like Christmas. Mm -hmm. mm, look at that. So what do we got? What are the Ooh. two different doses here? So it looks like I got a sweet dosa here. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some a couple of different things. Pomegranate seeds, which are so nice on it. Got a couple of different dippings right here. Oh man, I can't wait for this. Wow, and then mine savory is dosa. savory, right? Has some chips. So that's the one we just saw oh. being made. So chips, onions, then obviously sambar, I'm pretty sure tamarind chutney, and over here coconut chutney, right? Coconut. Gotta have the coconut chutney. You have to, have to. That's the best part about dosa, we rip. You rip, but you know what? If you want, you can go oh. like this. Oh man. Straight up, just dunk it. Savage. I have to, bro. I love those, it's my favorite thing on the planet. Oh, oh that looks so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I never thought of dosa and whipped cream before. Holy crap. No? That's incredible. Dude, you just rip. Just rip. Grab a little bit. Yep. And just tons of whipped cream. Wow. That combination's amazing. Right? That's no, such a good dosa? combination. I know, right? Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Sort of like an American style, it's right? Like yeah. yeah. Exactly. And just in the American. I didn't think Gluten free. Gluten free. This good. Lights out. Wow. Dosa is the thing that I love about it. Not only crispy, you got this nice, slight sourness to it because it's a mm -hmm. fermented herd doll. Typically, it's Sona Masori mm -hmm. as well, which is a beautiful rice. This is so. I, you know, listen, he's done a lot of these videos. You know, he's loving it when he's just shoveling it in like that. That's a hell of a dosa, huh? Dude, this thing's out of control. <laughs> love the crunchiness. Who would have thought you put some chips inside, you know? Mm -hmm. Mmm, it's stuff. Mm. And it stuffs so much. Wow. Man, dosa's so versatile. From pizza dosa to paneer to sweet dosas. You, if you've never had a dosa, just pause this video. Go back and play it after. But like, pause this video. Go get a dosa right now. Right now. The best thing ever. I'm Indian crap. I love how crispy it is. I love how full it is. Oh man. Oh, this is oh, too good. And you got a savory of the sweet. Look at that, man. It's literally the perfect food. It is, literally. And if you want to, you could like, instead of dipping it, because things will fall out, mm -hmm. just go like this. Whoa, look at this, bro. Oh! It's almost like a jam. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. I'm jealous of that bite. Mmm! <coughs> mmm! <laughs> what is that? It's a ginger chutney. Ginger Ooh. chutney? Oh, but it's like pasty. Yeah, it's hot. Mm. Yeah. It is amazing. This is fantastic. This is your favorite? Uh, yes. Yes? Yeah. My favorite now. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, bro. I'll give it to you. Mmm. Changing the game right here. Texturally, it's absolutely perfect. Mm hmm Like, it's so meticulous to get a dosa like this, right? You need the, the pan consistency has to be right on every time. Mm hmm I've messed up so many dosa in my day, and getting your pan heat right, you get this, this beautiful crispiness to do. Oh, man, this, this is, I need this every day. This is insane. Every day. And this ginger, dude, you gotta try this one. Okay, I'm coming in. This is too good. Like, wow. I, so insane. Oh, come on. Oh. Holy. Mm. Oh, gave me chills. Dude. That's insane. That's like the best thing ever. That's, that's like that's my favorite chutney of all time, right here. I, legit, it's probably one of mine too. Mm. The ginger is like over the top good. It's so good. Holy, I just want to drink that. I, I want to bathe in that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have one of these, bro. You, I've been waiting. I have to just dip it into this. Yeah, man. That right beautiful there. cream. Right here. Whipped malai or cream. Right? Mm -hmm. I've never had dosa and whipped cream together, and I gotta admit, lights out. Lights out. It's so good. Too good. Hey guys, I'm gonna mix the whipped cream with this ginger chutney, just like that. Let's get the whole thing with this. It's gonna be an amazing bite. This is good. This is good. Whoa. This one is taking the cake. It is. Mm. That ginger chutney. Whew. Lights right. out. That's it for doses. This is about Italy, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's open this beautiful Italy. Mm. Wow. Love the presentation. Yeah. 
this. So this is a Ridley chart, uh, just for people who don't want to be, have gluten but still have all the chart flavors. Ridley is uh, made out of ura dal and rice. Just for David, I had to mention the dal type. Um, it's a rice and lentil cake, which is steamed, which is much healthier than any chip in a chart. Every other good thing about a chart, like mint, tamarind, yogurt sauces, uh, pickled onions, potatoes, onion, tomato salsa that we make. And voila! Let's dive in. Just gotta mix things. Oh, yes. I love this. Ooh. Mm, look at that with the set on top. Perfect. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, exactly like a chap. You have eating in the bottom, right? Yep. Oh man. Oh, these are the things. If you've never had it, you don't know how much you're gonna crave it. Mm -hmm. This is it right here. Yeah, it's a mix of textures and flavors. Mm -hmm. Everything. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It's sour. It's crunchy. And the word is chapata. Chapata. Mm. So chat means like to lick. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the translation, and I cannot stop eating this. It is, it should mean addictive, is what it should mean. I can't stop eating this. Every bite. Perfect. Every bite. Thank you. Wow, what an amazing experience here at Madras Dosa Company. Some of the best dosas. Serious. Oh, too good. That chutney, ginger chutney. Number one, rank number one of all time for me. Yeah, it, absolutely. You need to go there like now. Now. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk 15 minutes into downtown. So we're crossing the seaport area. We're going to downtown. I'm going to Bayanga. So South Indian cuisine. I'm excited. I'm a little full, but I got some more space. <sighs> Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Crossing this bridge, we're entering Boston, downtown Boston. Over here to the right, they have a huge project going on where they're gonna make an incredible bridge. It's gonna take two or three years right here. Beautiful. And over here to the left, Right over there, that's where the Boston Tea Party happened. Yes, that's where the Americans threw all the tea into the water and said, goodbye England. And after a 15 minute walk. A really good walk too, mind you. Amazing walk. Here we are. Are you ready? I'm ready. Round two, Bayanga. Bayanga. Let's go inside. So tell me, how does it work here? These are the most funny Indian names for dishes you would probably find anywhere in the country. They're meme worthy, they're that funny. Okay. Yeah. You gotta scan right here and get the menu. You know what they call, what he calls them? They see on TG burgers. This is the menu. We have appetizers, we have burgers, we have Kathy rolls. Wow, so Rice, you have Indo Chinese. Yes, noodles. So more like Chot, street food yes, style, yes, right? Yes. Awesome. A little bit of everything, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have curries, you have rice, biryani. But here, obviously, we got thumbs up. We have limka. You have, obviously, mango lassi, sweet lassi. You have waters, and I love the concept here, right? It's cozy restaurant. Over here, we have, like, the tata. So they got this from India, right? So this is the truck. At the very end, they have, like, a mini bus over there. They have chips. And yeah, so, like, more, like, fast, casual street food, right? This is the best when you walk into a place and he's like, no, 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 I got this. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to the kitchen to see how they make some of this food. We're gonna have a lamb burger. Oh, they got the tandoor right here. Yeah, where they make the breads. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, man, how you doing? Good, how are you? Very good, very good. I, I'm excited. We got some biryani. Look at this, the smell, the aroma. Oh, nothing like it. This is chicken biryani, right? Yeah, hey, chef. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you. you guys are awesome. Yeah. So what, what's next? What is he going to make? And right here he's making a dosa. So which dosa is this? Cheese dosa. Cheese dosa. Make it spicy for whoever ordered it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And right here we have the masala fries. Oh, you're so good. Mmm. They're really good, right? Oh, delicious. Not too spicy. Yeah. My man, we did it. Okay. Yes. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. All right, we got Hakka noodles right here that look absolutely delicious. And we've got a beautiful biryani. Look at that egg on top of it. Oh, this smells, you got it. Oh, oh this smells so good. Okay, we are starting off with the Hakka noodles and the mutton biryani. This looks so good. Oh, these noodles look wonderful. Look at this. Dude, it's gonna be spicy too. He threw in a lot of sriracha in there. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Mm. Mmm. Love the vegetables. Yeah, nice kick. Nice yeah. kick. Mmm. And that's what you want out of a dish like this, right? Yeah. You want that like peppery, like it's delicious. Come on in here. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good. Yeah, and this is remember, this is an Indo-Chinese dish. You gotta have that heat, right? Yeah. And I like that it's not like glass noodles, a little thicker, right? Right. You want a little bit of chew to that. Mm-hmm. 
Nice egg. Mm -hmm. Man, I love Indo Chinese food. Mm. It's so good. It's so underrated. No one even knows about it. It's no. crazy. And right here we have the mom biryani. So look at this. It's big look at piece the right there. Say, look at that piece of biryani. Very chunky. Whew. Just alone, right? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow. Biryani. Yeah, you feed on the streets. Yeah, I know. It's too king good. Of dishes. The biryani. king of dishes. Wow. Man. Love the spices. Mmm. Mmm. So, that is such a good biryani. It's seriously, really, really ridiculously good. The taste is oh, beautiful. Yeah. So I just like drizzled a bunch of raita on top. I love it because it makes it creamier, right? So that. Can't stop eating it. So good. Uh, me either. Mm hmm. Right. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. I feel sorry for anyone who's never had biryani before, right? Mm hmm. Exactly. It's the, the king of dishes, right? Yeah, it's like, it's literally perfect in every way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back for these noodles. Mm, do it. Yeah, I gotta say, mm. there's no other rice dish in the world that compares to this. Mm. I mean, I've had a lot of Latin American rice dishes. Mm -hmm. I've had, you know, pulao, pilaf, I mean, mm -hmm. what else, plov. Yep. But they're not the same. No. No. It's really a special dish. And when you do it right, there's so many styles of biryani too, right? Mm -hmm. Just because you have one doesn't mean you had everything. No, no, no. So many different Man. styles. Whew. And the best part is my mouth is just tingling just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I don't feel uncomfortable. Don't feel like I need water. Mm. No, it's just perfect. Mm. I feel like if you don't have a little bit of heat, yeah. it's not the same thing. Exactly. It's perfectly said. You just need that little bit just to feel it in your nose. Oh man. Mm. I wish we could just feed this to everyone watching right now. I know, right? Be like, here you go. <laughs> right there. Here you go, guys. Next, we're gonna unwrap a beautiful Christmas gift. This is the lamb masala burger. Come on, let's do this. Oh, it's like Christmas. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. That's freaking amazing. All right, guys, my turn to take a bite of this beautiful lamb burger. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So there's cheese inside, there's onion. Oh my God. Mmm. So creamy. Oh man. I personally love lamb. Lamb and goat, my favorite meat. Wow, have you had this? Oh, it's unreal. We made the first ones at Kilari. Mmm. Whoa. Mm. Oh my god, it's hot now. <laughs> it is too good. Oh, masala fries. You can't beat that with this. This is one of my favorite burgers ever. Ever. I agree. It's just like everything you want. Mm -hmm. they, they, they got that like fast foody feel mm -hmm. without feeling heavy or greasy. Right? Dude, exactly. That's what it feels like. It feels like an American burger with an Indian twist with lamb. Yes. <sighs> lamb. Probably the most underrated protein I think in the West. People just don't, they, they don't really use it enough. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> Chef in here is making dal. It looks like a tour dal. Oh man, dal is one of the greatest things on the planet. Funny, because French people, they always like, and they make amazing lentils too. But this is a whole different style. It's creamy, it's wonderful. Get ready. And right here we have the paneer naan. So stuff. Paneer, right? So stuffed naan with paneer. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's do it. Let's try it. Whoa. Still oh, hot. It's still hot. Still way to eat it. Mm. No matter how full you are, hot naan, hot roti, hot chapati, any of these are just, when we dunk this in the dal, it's game over. Oh. Game over. Let's wait. There's the dal that just went in. Oh. It smells amazing. Best food ever. Best food ever. Thank you so much. Right. Namaskar, namaskar. Oh, I almost hit in the face. <laughs> See, good. Namaskar. There we go. Now you can do namaskar ram. So this right here is one of the best dishes in the entire world, in my opinion. As a chef, I always try to replicate that feeling of like being at home. And obviously, since India isn't my home, it's really challenging to replicate this. I cannot tell you how good this is. All right, my turn. Just top it all off like that. Mm. Mm hmm So hot. 
Mm, combination. Wow. Amazing. Man, that was amazing. Third and final stop. I don't even know. We're gonna have to take a walk. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I mean, luckily for us, we have to walk back to the car, all the way back to the seaport, and then drive about 30 minutes, 40 minutes south, right, to 1947? Absolutely, and it's in Norwood, Massachusetts. And man, 250 different items on the menu. Maybe we make this a longer walk. Yeah, I think so, because I'm full. <laughs> How do you feel? Defeated, um, food <laughs> coma, uh, proud, and sad. <laughs> complex emotions. We are really full. We're gonna walk a little bit more, walk to the car, give us like a two plus hour break. By the time we get there, we'll be good. Hopefully. Here we go. Yeah, so traffic isn't bad ever. No, <laughs> traffic always sucks in Boston. Um, there's specific times you need to try to get out of here, but we're caught in it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna let food digest. So really it was supposed to be a 30 minute drive, it's a 50 minute drive, but that's because of all the traffic exiting the city right now. I mean, we're really going through it, right? But at the same point, you just bump some tunes, you got a beautiful fall day, can't ask for much better. After a 45 minute drive, we're finally here. Wow, I feel good. 1947, the year of independence. Here we go, last stop of the day, 250 dishes. Whew. Here we go. And this is 1947. I like it. Very modern, the same time, very mm -hmm. Indian, right? Yeah, it really is. 1947, obviously, you remember? Exactly, it is Indian independence. Super important day. Love the decor here. It feels very kind of modern, but a throwback. You have the Royal Enfield bike, which is beautiful. Royal Enfield, kind of the bike that I love so much. We also have this gorgeous mural on the, on the wall over here. This is so dope. The atmosphere is great. If the atmosphere and the food match together, home run. And there's over 250 dishes on this menu. So we're gonna get some very unique stuff, stuff we haven't tried before. Exactly, I'm so excited. They have romali roti. Romali is the word for handkerchief. So this is a big roti. I can't wait to have this. And here we go, straight into the kitchen. All right, chef. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at these idlis. Mm. Oh man, it smells delicious. So good. So what do we have? Chilies, we have uh, coriander, what else is in there? Onions, it's a bunch of different spices. I've never seen anything like this. And this is South India, right? All South. Yeah, South India. What are you gonna make next? Those are usually making it all. Chef, yes. looking good, bro, looking good. Yes. Caroline right here. Kerala, God's own country. Dal right here, this smells amazing. Again, one of my favorite dishes ever. Beautiful dal, look at that. Chef, thank you so much. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. My man, my man. Bam. Bam. <laughs> That's it, guys. We saw like six dishes being made. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things. Look at these beautiful lollipop chicken. Oh. 65. Oh. Mm. I think we have to jump on with this, right? Yeah, I feel like this is how you start. This is how you have to start. Look how beautiful it is. Wow. So I've never seen chicken lollipop like this. Usually they just give it to you fried. This one they yeah. mixed it in with this gravy. Yeah, which is nice. Like chicken 65 typically has that red color to it. A lot of it uses food coloring. He was in the kitchen like, no, we don't want to use that. Respect. Mm -hmm. Cheers, bro. Michael. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Michael. Super moist. Beautiful mm -hmm. ginger garlic flavor to it. Not hot at all. It's mm. great. So, it was fried already. Mm -hmm. They fried it again, but it still doesn't feel like it's deep fried. You know? No, it's like super. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm. This guy, like, this is like every Sunday when you're watching football, American football, this is what you should be down on, right? Yeah. Dude, to be honest, like, for me, mm. chicken wings in America don't compare to this. Mmm. Wow. How oh, beautiful this is it? absolutely delicious. I might have to have another one, but you know what? Next up, we're gonna jump on these idlis, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this beautiful masala idli. Oh, look at that. You can see the mustard seed all over it. Oh, come on, Dunbar, you just got a dunk? This is comfort right here, this bite. You ready? Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> It's light, it's spongy, it soaks up all of that sunbar. Dude, get in on this right now. Mm -hmm. This bite. 
Mmm, it is spicy. Right? Mm hmm That's that beautiful, like, that's what I want in some bar. I want to feel it right on mm -hmm. my lips. Mmm. That's how big this is. It's crazy. It's fluffy, spongy. Absolutely. Mm. Remember, our favorite, we got coconut chutney. You look okay, right? We're good, perfect, thank you. This fish is a delicacy, okay? Oh, the fish? Yeah, yeah. Try the fish. Oh, Humphrey. And this one is a coconut chutney? Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And over here? I don't like peanut. peanut chutney. Mm hmm. Wow. The peanut chutney. Peanut this chutney? One. Yeah, I'm going for it. It's so good. I'll tell you, mm. things are getting spicy here. Mm. I can feel it. We also told me like spicy, so yeah, we're starting to get that. And this is what I like. The nose, mm-hmm. Well we start to, and I don't feel in pain. I just feel ready for more. No, I feel great. You know, bringing up a sweat a little bit. But chef told us the fish was a delicacy. And so I am really excited. Look Good. at this. This fish was skewered, put like right in the tandoor, right? Exactly. Yeah. We just saw it. they put it in the tandoor, and this is a Kerala thing, right? We gotta just go in here. And break it, right? Say like that. Pull out some of that. Some of that meat, right? Look at that. Nice. I love the cheeks as well and the eyeball. Mm. Go in here. Oh. So you just go in here, pull this out, right? Like that. I'm so excited for this. Mm hmm. Just grab a piece like that. Coming in. Mm hmm. Grab some. Oh, pump free. Mm. Oh, wow. There's nothing like fish that goes in the tandoor. Dude. It like literally is smoky, yeah. and at the same time, it's just like falling apart. It's like super moist. It's not fishy at all. Zero fishiness to it, right? I get a little nervous with the bones, but you can see just the spine going through. Right, you can see it easy. And the skin, oh man. Mm -hmm. There's so many good fleshy parts in this. Yeah, that's good for you, right? Oh, look at the skin right here. Mm-hmm. Oh. The masala blend on it is gorgeous. It's funny, you see a lot of times when you deal with meat, like chicken or fish, they'll skewer the sides, they'll cut the sides real deep to get that masala deep in and massage it in. Mm -hmm. And that's why it goes throughout the meat so well. Yeah, man, and if you go and you flip it, look at that, how much more oh. meat there is. Let's go in here. Listen, I know fish can be intimidating for some people, whole fish, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you've never had it before, seriously, you gotta get whole fish. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Don't sleep on the whole fish. Look, and have one more huge bite, look at this, beautiful. That fish is star of the show. Mm hmm Wow, so star much meat. Show. Yeah. Oh, that is. Mm. Mm. And right here we have the Mysore, Mysore dosa. And it's funny, like you think like after a couple of dosas, you get the hang of it. And you like, you get sick of it. Nope. Dosa is one of those things. I don't get sick of it. Like never, ever. never, never. Cause there's so many things you can do. So, I don't know anybody who doesn't like dosa. Don't know. And if you do not like dosa, then Something's wrong with you. Yeah, <laughs> try it again. Mm-hmm, say like that. Look at that, that beautiful masala. I'm gonna go sambar. Okay, I'm gonna go peanut. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Mm. Mm. Dude. You know, <laughs> I gotta say, this day doesn't suck. <laughs> Right? It's an amazing day. Oh man, this is so delicious right now. Mm hmm I'm so happy that we ate, we ate those twice today. Mm. 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 This one's crispy and doughy. Mm hmm Not too spicy. Mm hmm mm. If I could start every day with just dosa and chai, I'd probably be a happy man for the rest of my life. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring the Madras Dosa company down to Miami. Oh my god. If you do, I'm flying there. Mm hmm Flying there for that one. Mm. They're coconut chutney. The coconut chutney Fire. and the peanut together. Like, let's do that. Mm. that. Little dink. I don't know how to explain to people like how good coconut chutney is. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like super fresh and like it's just one of the greatest things. It, it's like a palate cleansing, cooling sensation. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so hard to explain how good that is. It's too good. Oh. Yeah, if you don't like coconut, again, you're gonna love coconut. You will. You will. <laughs> Wow. So they finish coconut chutney, chutney all the time with tartka. So you have the tartka, mm -hmm. which has got like a tempering of oil with like mustard seed and green chilies and beautiful things. And my God, this is good. So good. Ready? Yeah. Wow. What a great dosa. I could sit here and crush through the rest of this, 
but we've got so much more to go. I know. He's gonna have one more little bit. He's still going. Proud of this guy. Proud of this guy. I'm so happy. We're gonna throw some of this doll right there. You need one more scoop of doll, please. One more scoop. I need it. And I think we should rip into the Ramali roti for this one. Where is that thing? Over right here? there. So Ramali roti actually translates to handkerchief. Look at this. And now you see why. Ready? Oh, okay. It's too Look long. at that. Look at these beautiful things. Look at that. And just rip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we just go in. It's been a long day. I know. It's it's a long day. Let's get some of the sauce of the chicken chetna. Mm-hmm. Chicken chetna. Oh, oh wow. And this one has like a bunch of spice in it. Yeah, it does. It has a ton. There's also like traditionally when you do it, uh, you use coconut and you use the dark side of the coconut. It's called copra. Copra. Yeah. And uh, that's one of the, the spices that go into the masala blend. Cheers. Just boom. Mm hmm Right. Mm. So different. Mm. Nice and light. Mm-hmm. Mm. You have a big piece of chicken here. Just get this right. Just go in here, break it. So you should always do. You have big chunky pieces of any of these proteins, right? Chicken, lamb, mutton, whatever it is. You go in and do this, then you go, break off some of that, just get it. And always get the gravy. That's what makes it, right? Just like this. Beautiful. And then you Perfect. just close your eyes. funny like this food is so much about just connection and soul and packed with flavor like yeah. Indian food they're the masters of spices mm -hmm. without a shadow of a doubt masters of spices and to make a dish like chicken chatnad to make a dish like that's complex mm -hmm. you really need to find that balance this Romali roti is hitting home huh mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like perfect and the ginger here mm. yeah you find ginger on top of Nihari as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time. And it's potent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like really potent. I gotta get some of this doll. Oh, let's do the doll. Let's go in here, just a little bit of doll, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice and light. That's perfect. Mm. Mm. The staple in Indian cuisine. Doll. Creamy, rich. The first time, fun little fact, when Indira was teaching me, the first time she ever made Masoor doll, I was like, is there chicken stock in this? This like, it tasted like there was a chicken stock. And she just laughed at me, she said, no, no, no. I always thought it was like mounted with chicken stock because it was so creamy and gave me that like feeling. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it like have this like richness to it? It does, it does. And wow. turns out it's a lot of times it's just from that Desi ghee. That yeah. ghee that's so perfect and done right. And, it's, and this one doesn't feel too thick. No. You know, sometimes it's too thick, sometimes it's too watery. This one's in the middle. In know? the middle, right. Uh, let's do Gobi Manchuri. Gobi Manchuri. You know what? This is going to be so easy. I'm just going to grab a piece. Yeah, same. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Gobi. Mm-hmm. Cauliflower. Bam. Oh my gosh. Dude, it feels like popcorn chicken. <laughs> right? Just keep popping. You know what's awesome? I love that you love this food as much as I love this food. I appreciate it so much, dude. I love this food. These four days have been awesome. We ate Indian food for 96 hours. Seriously. And like, he loves this food. <laughs> loves it. No better cuisine. Please, guys. That's what I'm saying. There is no better cuisine. <laughs> cauliflower. Perfected cauliflower. Mm -hmm. In so many different ways. Nice and chunky. Oh. Not too spicy. Mm. Wow. Another Good. full day of eating Indian food for 24 hours. We've had dosa. Mm -hmm. We've had styles of street food we've had chops we've had southern northern oh my god yeah we've had inspired dishes even even the fish had that beautiful mustard oil which kind of reminded me of bengali cuisine a bit exactly we've had so much stuff yeah so we hit up three spots madras dosa company they went to bayanga we nailed it bayanga so that's in boston like seaport and downtown boston yep. and we drove about 40 minutes south to this place in 1947, Independence Year. Yeah. And that was our incredible Indian food tour of New Hampshire and Massachusetts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're ever out there in that area, definitely hit up Chef Keith Saracen and definitely go to all these restaurants. They're so good. I love Indian food up there. I and mean, if you guys don't know about it, now you know. If you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next one somewhere here around the world.